the Ugly Money Podcast. I am your host, Ugly Money Nietzsche. This episode being brought to you by the Bundle Gang. Go to thebundlegang.com and get your old lady the bundles that she needs. I'm talking long bundles, short bundles, Peruvian, Malaysian, Asian, w- whatever types. Can you got every got kind it. of can? They got African, they got Mexican. Any kind of bundle you need, go to thebundlegang.com. It has been told to us that women do not like us to get bundles from the hair store. Come on now. It needs to come out of Ling Ling's head. Go to thebundlegang.com to get yours today. Your old lady will love that for Christmas. Do not bring her the store brought bought hair. They don't like it. It sheds like a dog. Get the bundles from thebundlegang.com. You can follow them on Instagram at thebundlegang as well. All right, man, I got a dope show for you today. I got some beautiful women for you today. I got some legendary pimping for you today. But the first thing we have to do, Mr. B, is what we got to do. We got to get them likes up. Get it's, not, it's not a fee. It is free. We do not hit your debit or credit. Drop them cities. Yeah, drop the city. Roll call. Uh, trigger alert for a start. January, end of January. So please let us know where you tapping in and tuning in from. Yes, bros. Go ahead and get them likes up. Let us know what city y'all checking in from, what city y'all watching in from. Drop them locations. Yeah. Drop them cities. Yeah. Let us know. And remember, all Super Chats will be read and discussed in full. So if there's a question that you have for these ladies, if Same. there's a topic you have for these ladies, anything that you want on this show, send it with a Super Chat and we will get to it. Yeah. Yeah. Mississippi checking in right now. Salute to Baltimore checking in Be-more. right now. Miami Day Trail 5 checking in right now. Uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania checking in right now. More people from Miami checking in. ATL, of course, is checking in. Uh, Dallas on the check-in. Dallas, what up? What's happening with it? Springfield, Illinois, St. Louis, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Salute to everybody across the nation, across the country that's tapping in and checking in with the program. Sacramento, I see y'all. California, y'all always show so much love. Salute. Duval on the check-in. Duval, what they do, though? Salute to everybody that's tapping in with the tapping in. Yes, sir, Ski. I need to go ahead and get those lights up. We're going to set a record tonight. I want to get to 1,000 people on the stream. So I need y'all to go ahead and mash that like button. Drop them cities. What's happening, Charlotte? Everybody across the country tapping in. We appreciate all of y'all, man. Duval. Big Duval vibes on the check-in. L.A. vibe. We'll see who our first international um, check-in is. You know, we had Japan on the live last night. Yeah, respectfully. And France was on the live, too. Salute to all of our international triggers across the the waters. Philly, located in Iraq. What's happening? Iraq on the check-in. Shouts out to all my service members. As an Iraqi war veteran myself, I salute you. Salute. Keep your head on a swivel. Yeah. And Iraqis don't use trash bags, so if you see some, if you see a trash bag, pop them. Some war stories, though. Let's get them lights up. You want it ready? A lot of things going on in the world right now. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, turn turn that down a little bit. Somebody, is that me? Yeah, that's me. That? that's me, that's me, that's me. Okay, yeah, a whole lot going on. What, what we popping it about today? Oh, man, Draymond Green has been suspended oh. indefinitely no. from the NBA. No, when not indefinitely for those that dropped out early means that there's no data return. So that means you're just... We don't know when he can come back. We don't know when you're coming back. Yeah, we don't Drop know when. Drop a bomb for Draymond Reckon. Yeah. I thought he just got off suspension yeah. from choking out the Chico, I yeah. mean, Spanish dude and oh, wow. other things. Chico is Chico, crazy. No, he is. Rudy go. I don't know. I don't want to mess up his last name. Yeah. And then he just punched on the white boy. I don't know what he got going on, man. What do he need? Anger management? What is it, brother? Talk I mean, to me. Uh, he, he probably need one of these ladies on the stage. He needs something, man. He needs something, man. He need to chill out. He he need to relax. He, yeah, he doing the most this year. I feel like, you know what? He He's pushing it to the limit. And if he keep on keeping on, they going to make it to where he can't keeping on if you get what I'm trying to say. They might push him out of the league. He keep playing, bro. This probably last time for him to wreck out like that. I think up. the next one, they might, hey, yeah, we don't need you. We love you here. But tighten up, yeah, boy. you got to go to the house, bro. Also, also, um, in recent news, the Dallas Cowboys whoop the Philadelphia Eagles. Ah! You didn't want to talk about what we did to y'all. You kept that real silent, and now you got your victory, and you want to go live and How go viral. How about Cowboys? Wow. Right, man. Look, I got to light this up, man. It's got to be past two minutes by now, right? Yeah, it's got to be. We good, bro. Yeah, you stressing me out. 
Yeah, all right, so we, we have a really dope show for y'all today. I need y'all to continue to go ahead and get the likes up. Go ahead and share. If you're on Facebook, share, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get active in these comments. Let's get active in the show. This is an interactive show. Your voice will be heard. Your comments will be read. You're definitely super in chats. And super chats will always be discussed in full. So if you got anything you need to say, make sure you say it with a super chat and we'll get right to it. I got a panel of beautiful, smart, intelligent, professional, respectfully, women on this stage. There's some hustlers. There's a whole lot of money on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the energy. Ooh, great energy boy. On I want to start to my left. I want to give everybody a chance and an opportunity to introduce themselves. Please let these folks know who you are, where to follow you at, and what you got going on, and do not be humble. Go ahead, Quinn. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Glow. You can follow me on Instagram at Glow Show. Um, you know, my I'm, I'm into, I'm a writer, producer for um, film, TV, um, content creator of different things. Um, a lot of independent stuff, um, a lot of stuff we have coming out new that will be out. So um, whether it's series or feature or documentaries, things of that nature. Um, outside of that, I'm always working on my entrepreneurial thing, you know, whether it's Airbnb, Toro, or whatever else we got going on, because, you know, we need more than one income stream. So for me, I'm just a hustler just trying to get it. Shouts out, Miss Glow Show. Hold on, Super Chat! Five dollars. Toya the Tutor. In terms of being modern, hot. Oh, they already asking questions. They ready to go. <laughs> Toya, we're gonna get to it as soon as we get off of this. One ninety nine super chat from uh, somebody. Oh, we, we got some London people checking in. That's a shilling. You know, one dollar means one twenty. Well, one shilling is one twenty six in our money. What? A dollar and twenty six cents. A shilling from London. Nah, it's two. It's, two London, one. it's, two, it's 126. I checked the, the thing today. Okay, Mr. English. Shout out to Victor <laughs> Bro Brosbeck with the $1 shilling. Thank you, brother. And uh, Toya the Tutor, we will definitely, she says, in terms of being modern, how do how do BW sentiments for BM differ from the oppressors? Okay, we're going to get to that. Cause that we'll sounds, get to that. I like that. Black women's sentiments for black men different from the... Okay, let's keep it moving right here to the left. Keep, keep, keep going. What's your name? Let us know what you got going. Excuse me. What's up? This is Miss Miami. Um, you all can follow my social medias on all platforms. Miss Miami TV, you already know what's going on. Man. Thank you for having me today. I can't wait to... They, they've been waiting for you. Ooh, I've been waiting for y'all. Okay. <laughs> well, let's pop that. Miss Miami is a good friend of the show. She comes highly anticipated. Yeah. See, they thought me and Miss Miami weren't going to get along. We get along fine. Oh, you know, she from the crib. Yeah. Salute to the whole Trail 5 Miami. She say, well, you say Liberty City, baby? Liberty. Salute to Liberty City right now on the check-in what they do, Ski. Uh, Biz, tell them about the gun line, boss. Who are you, sir? Uh, yeah, my name is Biz. Just chill. B-I-Z-Z. -Z, just chill. You can follow me on all platforms. No underscores, no spaces. Co-host of Trigger Alert, represent Ugly Money. I want to thank all of my triggers all across the nation that helped make this possible. We appreciate y'all. We salute y'all. And we definitely, definitely thank you for the love. Get it. Love, love, love. Go ahead, Queen. How you doing? All right. I'm doing all right tonight. All right, guys. My name is Lorna J. And you can follow me on Instagram at brownsugar.jaee. -E. And the sugar is S-U-G-A-A. -A. So I am a licensed Atlanta realtor. I service all um, counties. So feel free to hit me up if you need a realtor, you need somebody to lease, um, sell your property, you need to buy a property, I'm your girl. Brown sugar bay. I'm getting high off your love. Don't you brown sugar. Whoa! Okay, I'm getting, well, all right, I'm getting all a little right. excited. Yeah. I'm getting a little excited. I'll show it off. Go ahead, Queen. Well, you so icy over there. What the know. fuck is up is the butt naked truth. Okay. Um, that's, yes, that's a duh. But Naked Truth, you can follow me on Instagram at the Butt Naked Truth, D A B U T T N A K E D T R U T H. I'm representing um, multi music moguls. I'm an artist, I'm an actress, um, I'm a choreographer, I'm a hostess. Shout out to KOD. Um, Y'all can check me out, KOD, on Saturday. I'm hosting there. Um, okay, y'all can check me out on KOD. I'm hosting there. Um, I'm there Monday through Sunday, so okay. pull up, pull the fuck up. Also, um, I'm doing a reality show coming up. Shout out to the Bad Bitch Sorority. Okay. 
Yeah, and that's, that's what's cracking right now. The butt naked truth is here, ladies and gentlemen. So do we call you butt or naked on this show? What do we call you? We want to call it. Truth. Okay, truth. I call you truth. I call you right, truth. Let's do it. Okay, Miss Truth. I got Miss Truth. I got Miss. Hold on, I got to make sure I say it right. It's Miss Lauren. Lauren. It's not Lauren. It's Lauren. 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 I'm saying it right. I'm from the country. Lauren. I got Miss Truth. I got Miss Lauren. I got Miss Miami. And I got Glow Show. Okay. Gang. Go ahead, Queens. Introduce yourself. Next up, next up, on the mic, on the mic, now you got Sweets is in the building. What's happening, everybody? Okay. Sweets is in the building. Make sure y'all follow me at The Amber White Show. Make sure y'all follow me also at Rap City ATL. We in the building. Okay, so Sweets, I do a little bit of everything. I do PR, I do radio, I do TV, I do... Um, Chill, I do graphics, I do production, I do write, I write if you need bios, if you need press kits, if you need whatever it is you need to help yourself shine, that's what I do. I do interviews, I host, oh man, I bartend if you want to get tipsy. I know, that's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm do all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm a busy lady. Um, I just started working with Comedy Hype, so shout out to Comedy Hype. Um, I'm gonna make sure y'all stay tuned for more things that are going on with that. And oh, shout out to HHN TV because I also do ATL Press. So make sure y'all check that That's out. That's out there, boy. Yeah, because ATL Hello. Press. So I, I'm basically on that show, I'm telling all the news for black people because y'all don't like to watch the news. So I need to make sure y'all stay updated on what's popping. That's so Already. That's going down. So we will refer to you as Miss Sweets today. Yes, please and thank you. Okay, that's a stripper name. The stripper name Sweets. I know him by Amber, but you know it's your stripper name is Sweets. Hey, that, that's what she, she likes. She, to she be going, she going Sweets yes, today. Yes, please, that's please, how please. she's coming today. And last but not least, go ahead, Queen. Introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Boss Bay. Um, that's B dot O S S dot underscore B A E Bay. Uh, my page was flagged a couple of times, so you know you got to get creative if you don't want to change your name. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a massage company. I'm a masseuse. Mm, okay. Ooh. Elaborate. Yes, I get the aches out. I'm a healer. I heal the, the body. Heal me. Okay. I heal the body from head to toe. Heal me. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, man. That Look, man. Give me your give me your Instagram or your handle so they can contact you, you for the the, Instagram, your dog. masseuse needs. Yes, you can reach me at Love to Rub. Rub. And that's L U B. The number two. Ooh. R U B. Yeah. Okay. You. Oh, uh, speaking of rubbing, we got some. Uh, I always like to support black-owned businesses. Can you grab me one of those, please, ma'am? Um. I got this sent by I got sent this today by at three young queens. Shouts out to y'all. Four uh shouts out to the four one oh three one queens. They sent us a whole bunch of body butters with all different types of flavors. Scents and flavors. Yeah, we got absolutely. dominance, we got yeah. millions, yeah, we got I might need to hit. I might Yeah, cause you know my elbows be ashy. Y'all be talking about my elbows in the um in the chat. It's cool though, cause I'm I'm about to get these three young queens, this body butter right here. I'm about Absolutely to be in the game tonight. Queens. So uh yeah. And uh my name is Ugly Money Nietzsche, but um tonight, during the nighttime, I go by my stripper name, Pooh Bell. I wear a red shirt with no paints and I put honey on bitches and make them say Christopher Robin. Y'all can subscribe to my OnlyFans for five hundred dollars. But I'm running a one time sale right now for goddamn Waffle House and the shot of Hennessy. Yes, yeah, Sersky, plus size enough. porn star and stripper. Hit me up for all your entertainment I needs. Answer. You added one on, well, brother. Man, can you, that, what happened last? La what happened la ladies, last can y'all imagine me got down just rubbing all this goddamn body butter on my body? Look at she already smiling. Look at she wants to do it. Now, shouts out to three queens. Shouts out to three queens, right? Look, three queens. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, that's love. That's and love. It does we smell good too. And we're gonna we're gonna give we're gonna give each of the ladies their choice of body butter for, for sure. today. Yeah, because sure. I got chronically ashy elbows, so I'm going to need to take some for myself. But I'm going to make sure that all y'all get a gift tonight from Three Young Queens. All right, so we got uh, we got some Super Chats we got to discuss. Talk about it. Um, Shouts out to Melvin Morgan, 199 Detroit in the building. What's up, my boy? Who you want 
agree with what they do. What 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 is it what they say? What it do? What 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 did Detroit what people up, say? Though? What, what up, up though? though? What up though? What up though? Uh, what up what up though? What up though? Tony Dinwiddie, ten dollars. Why do women let their friends ruin their relationship? We got a whole lot of questions from the chat tonight. Questions is questions. But before we get to that, I got to introduce legendary. Pippin is in the building. My live studio artists make some noise for Pippin Kill. What's up, Pippin? Salute to Pippin. Hey, man, say, man. It's big shit, pop, little shit, drop it, man. Hey, man, I'm Pippin Ken, better known as a pretty Bobby best friend. You know what I'm saying? The first one that went Merlin Rowan and Whitehall. You know, hey, but check this out, man. They also called me Ken Ivy, the CEO of Hip Hop Fraternity. You dig what I'm saying? I'm also the CEO of HHFMag.com, the CEO of HHFClothing.com. I'm the CEO of everything HHF. And I'm also a literary agent, so uh, Boosie is currently signed to me, Ice-T signed to me, Corey Wise, we looking to sign a whole bunch of other people. I have a film company, HHL Films, we are putting Boosie movie out, it's coming out on Tubi real soon. We put an Ice-T movie out, we got Perry Ann Roberts, which me and Ugly Money will be interviewing her, and I'm also partnership with Ugly Money on the HHF and Ugly Money Awards. Be April yeah, it is. So y'all make sure y'all come, and if y'all wanna find me, y'all can find me at realpimpkin underscore, and check this out, man. Hey, you know, love yourself. <laughs> salute, salute to Pimpin' Ken in the building. Yeah, in the building. He Pimpin is our building. female financial advisor. Uh, we got another super chat. Uh, Melvin Morgan, 499, Detroit in the building. Love your podcast, Building Love, bro. Podcast, appreciate you, bro. Shouts out Detroit, man. Them boys on Detroit, we got them going crazy on that too. I ain't gonna lie, they been going crazy with the movie scene. I, I definitely respect what they doing on the independent movie scene. They have really taken it to a, know what I mean, another level with that. Salute to the OD. Miss Glow Show said she had something to say before she had to Talk get to me. Oh yeah, and sweets, thank you for being a busy lady, cause I am too. And speaking of Tubi, I will be in Street Queens, which is coming out on Tubi in February. Yeah, Sersky. Respectfully. And, uh, next month I'll be filming this new project called New Cycle. It's a man. Robinson production, so we getting down with that. Ooh. Got my assistant directing thing going on. So, you know, shout out to my production company, yeah. du Double Dutch Film Works. I'm always available to play an we extra, know, like, we you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need some. I got uh, y'all. I got y'all. I could do all type of different roles. If you need up. a plus size stripper <laughs> in the movie, I'm available. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I am available. Oh, yeah. that plug all that in. Definitely already support that. Already, already, already. Okay, cool. So um, we had a super chat from uh, Tony Dinwiddie. Uh, remember, all super chats over ten dollars will be read. In, well, all super chats will be read and discussed. But anything over ten dollars, we will bring into the panel. Why do women let their friends ruin their relationships? Um, we we all know of the group chat. Okay. The chat, the group chat of women that have all their homegirls in there and y'all deepest, darkest secrets and everything be in there. At least that's what we think is men. We think it be going down in the group chat. And, you know, my thing is, if Sweets is single and me and Miss Glow Show are married, why is Glow going to Sweets for our advice? So women, why do you go to your single friends for relationship advice? Who wanna start? Well, I, I'll kick it off. Um, I, I think it's irresponsible to go to your single friends for advice if, if you're married. Um, and even if you're in a deep relationship that's going towards marriage, I don't think that you should go to your single friends because I don't think they're gonna give you re uh, relationship advice that's healthy for what it is you're trying to do. That's just my advice. Don't do it, don't do it. Bad idea, bad idea. Plus, they're gonna tell you to leave your man anyway, and misery loves company, so I say don't do it. Okay, so, so you don't go to your, you never went to your your homegirl that's single for your advice, because I know some of your homegirls. I girls. used to when I was in my younger year, yeah, and they, I have learned, you know what I'm saying, huh. it's not, it's, it's just not good. Not yeah, because I, I know some of your homegirls, they be single as fuck. You know what, whatever, I whatever. know some of your homegirls, <laughs> and they single as hell. <laughs> They are single, but uh, some of them are single by choice. By choice? Yes. Choice they got sent to the pot. <laughs> anybody else? So is anybody they are single because they want to be single. So, now. so boss, boss, babe, who do you go for for relationship advice when you and your man or your woman? I don't, I don't know your your distinction. Uh, are going through it. 
first of all, I don't have a man oh, to okay. go okay. through anything. Oh. But when I used to, uh -huh. you know, it would be like my very closest friend, mm -hmm. my best friend. Okay. Um, Bestie. Bestie. Mm -hmm. But when you do stuff like that, you got to make sure you know who you're talking to. That's right. You know, you okay. can't talk to everybody about everything. That's true. Like, you got to know who you're confiding in and who you're coming to from advice. Like, I'm not going to seek advice from somebody that I know hasn't been through something like my situation mm. or doesn't feel me enough to understand my situation. So, yeah, you got to just know who you're going to. So is your bestie, is she single? No, my bestie wasn't single at that time. Okay, okay, okay. Well, she gave you some solid advice. She can teach you how to... Because I just see a whole bunch of women that can't keep a man trying to tell a woman how to keep a man. Yeah, it's a lot of that going on. You know what I'm saying? And I, that go for some of y'all goddamn bitter-ass mamas, too. Yeah. My mama couldn't keep goddamn daddy in the house. What the hell is she going to tell you what to do? That's true, too. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Too. Okay, okay. Miss Miami, you look like you got something to say. Go ahead and say it with your chest. Okay. So, um, I do feel like that's a two-sided question. I will say, for me personally, I don't really have a lot of outsiders in my business. But when you do ask a friend, whether they're single or not, you, you ask someone who's supportive of your relationship. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of married people, including, let's talk about men asking their male friends. Mm -hmm. They could be in a relationship, and they're going to give you bad advice because in their marriage, they're, they're not operating like a married person. So for me, it's more of asking somebody who's supportive of my relationship. And secondly, I is it is it the fact that they're supportive of your relationship, or they gonna take your side? It's not. No, it's not about taking a side. Oh, okay. Supportive of because when when they're not supportive, they will tell you to leave. They may if they are supportive, they'll tell you no. Know, they'll ask you more questions, seeing if you're tripping or not. So that's the thing. So. And so I can't ask my male homeboy that is a husband for. Advice? No, because a lot of y'all husbands, they, they say men don't cheat, but the, the, what they say, the, the, the dating market is full of married men. But so you, a lot of y'all married men uh -huh. are giving y'all advice to keep yeah, y'all to keep true. them that's with more true. action than your single self as a man. Preach. So so if you understand that, it's a lot of single men who don't get as much action as married men. Uh -huh. So yes, married men will tell bad advice, just like a lot of y'all daddies tell y'all bad advice. I advise advice. you get they some new friends. <laughs> We won't do is water down the faithful black man. What we won't do is water down a man that protects and provides for his family the way he's supposed to. What we won't do is water down a man that has showed up for a woman to the point where she has accepted his ring, took his last name, and started a family. Y'all love to water down somebody that actually shows up for the goddamn show. Y'all love to water down a man that's actually doing what the fuck he's supposed to do. He could have just goddamn gave your ass some dick and goddamn a baby and bounced out like your baby daddy. But you see, the fact that a man is going to sit there and be a husband, you want to water this man down? I say bullshit. That's why I have these hoes single now. Back to the pot. <laughs> Oh, Before we hop off this topic, I just want to say this. I want to agree. I, I agree with you, Miss Miami TV, because my thing is this. My, my twin sister's married, but I don't, when she's come to me for advice, I'm not the, the hater friend. I'm like, girl, I'll leave that nigga. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, okay, maybe let's, um, you know, suggest counseling or something like that. I'm not the hater friend, because to me, whatever make you happy, it's gonna make me happy. So I don't wanna necessarily say when you're talking to your friends, you're gonna ruin your relationship, because you gotta make sure, like she said, is this person supportive of my relationship? Because you could be talking to a hater, like you said, misery loves company, and they don't want you to be happy because they're miserable, lonely, and alone. So Ooh, that's my thing. You dressed it up, you dressed it up. Why ain't true, why ain't true. She just she got a way of making things sound yeah, nice, you know what I'm saying? I, I haven't really been triggered. Right yeah, you know, she got a way of thing making you know what I'm saying? She'd be like, oh, yeah, I really hate men, but, you know, at the same time, <laughs> if you want to goddamn, you know, be a, a terrible man, <laughs> I'm totally okay with that, you know? <laughs> everything sound nice, you know what I'm saying? Good. And then you got the people that just make everything sound nasty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love your little bitch ass. <laughs> 
Let's move forward. Let's move forward. We get off that topic. Shouts out. Oh, we got a 499 super chat from Don the Wavy. He say that 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 ugly man. Remember, all super chats will be read and discussed. My chat brothers, can we go ahead and get them likes up one time? Yeah, 205. I need 800 more people in here. Let's get the likes up. I want to get to a thousand tonight. Hit that like button, bros. We ain't hitting your cash up. We ain't hitting your Navy Federal Credit Union. We ain't got no, yeah, we just want a goddamn like. That's all. If you're on Facebook, can we get a share? If you're a real one, you're just trying to spread the gospel. You did. That's what makes this show go. That's what makes this engine run is them likes. So go ahead and hit them likes. Up, 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 up. Yeah, salute to Blue Piranha. I see you, sir. Salute, salute. So we got a topic. Let them know what the topic is uh, sponsored by, Bill. Uh, tonight's topic is sponsored by BU Clothing. Um, go to Shop BU Clothing. I'm wearing them tonight, of course. Uh, official sponsor of Trigger Alert from the very beginning. Um, go to ShopBU.com. That's ShopBU.com if you want to get any of the shirts, the hats, uh, jackets. Ladies, they do have female apparel too. ShopBU.com. BU Clothing on Instagram. Salute to Shorty. Salute to my boy Kane in the audience. Salute. They always show most love. BU. And also, Article 15 clothing. That's what I got on right now. Clothes yeah. made by a soldier for soldiers in life. You dig what I'm saying? As a soldier in all of us, shop Article 15 clothing. Right, you can now. follow them at Article 15 clothing. <laughs> Slow. I like that. Well, I did that, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah, you know, I try, I try to be trying to do a little shit. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't like, I don't make it sound a good at her, but I be trying to make it sound like song. All right. Ladies, recently Jada Waiter, y'all familiar who Jada Waiter is? That's uh, little baby's baby mama. Has recently, uh, she had a post where she was talking about that men do not respect women as much as they used to these days. And so my question to you ladies is, uh, do you feel that men don't respect women the way they used to and why back in the day. Huh? You said these days, you mean back in the day? Yeah, back in the day. Okay. They, she said that men don't respect women now as much as they I mean, used yeah, back, to okay, back okay. in the day. So, you know, the question is ladies, do you feel that we are not respecting you guys as much in 2024 as we are have in the past? Who want to set it off? Yeah. Go ahead, True. Go ahead. Hell no. Okay. All <laughs> Hell right. to the no, no, no. Men do not respect women as much as they did in 1950, 1960. Oh, okay. They don't. Elaborate. And are we talking about any race of men? We talking about us. We talking about us niggas. Oh, yeah. So if we talking about us, we damn sure talking about a different. Why do you feel that way? Right. Because back then the man was labeled as the household. Well, first of all, a lot of us black men are not in the household. And whose fault is and that? Here you go. Mm. <laughs> it could be a number of reasons. Everybody's not the Somebody's same. gotta be at fault. It could be the mother, it could be the father. The it men. doesn't matter, but I'm just saying the that. The men. I'm just saying that they don't treat us the same like they used to. That's cause y'all not on the same shit y'all used to be. Y'all was doing the same shit grandma was doing. We would have nothing but love and understanding for shit. Grandma was not doing feet pigs, selling pussy on the side on OnlyFans. Grandma was not in the club on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in somebody's section trying to drink their goddamn liquor. Grandma was doing things that you guys are not doing today. So therefore, we have changed over time. Once you get back to certain ways, we can get back to certain terms. But if you're doing all this new OnlyFans shit, you better get used to some new treatment in this motherfucker. Because grandma wasn't on that shit. I keep trying to get the old school that's way with true. this and new I, school mentality. It can't work like that. That, that is not true. You sir. have to adapt sir. more ways that your your sir, grandma had. I want I want you to always believe and remember it was somebody's grandma that was selling some ass. Okay. Respectfully. Don't you ever think that it, it's just but you can't pull it up on video oh, for 1999. Right you can't pull up your grandma's pussy for 19.99 right now. You can't get to be a, an exclusive no. member to your grandma's pussy. Come on, man, stop playing with that shit, man. That shit, way, hey, hey. It's not the same. The values have changed, and I blame it on getting money and the internet. Y'all don't have the same core values, and we don't got the same no more, because shit's different. What's going on? You better Can name I social media, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. That has a lot so? to do with it. Let's let, let, let Truth talk. Ahead, 
No, they don't treat the women like that. You can't sit there and say that bullshit about men because women don't change. No, if y'all supposed to be the leaders, if y'all supposed to be the head, y'all not leading. Y'all too busy trying to wear pocketbooks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Y'all y'all oh. not, not leading nothing. So women having to take their trash out, women having to make a little extra spare change with a man not taking care of the household. Nigga, you can speak that shit for the, you can keep that bullshit. Well, just say the nigga's name out. and get it over with. Say his name right now. Say the nigga that wasn't taking the trash out. Say the nigga name that wasn't paying and the bills. Say that and nigga now. name. And Cause now. it ain't all of us, ma'am. But, it's but that no. nigga. But most Say his name right now. But to lead anymore for no woman to follow. Women are having to be what, the men. What and makes not a only man, that, they have to be man. the woman and sub substitute themselves to things they don't want to do. It's more bitches stripping to go to college. It's more bitches stripping to, uh, to get the school clothes, to get the school supplies, because niggas not doing so nothing. So why you do you blame feel like your pussy is a nigga? Hold on, man. Hold on. You will not blame me for your whole activity. <laughs> Scholarships. They got financial aid. They got student loans. You will not blame me for your whole activity. You could have did a whole bunch of things to get your ass through college other than selling cash and shaking ass. So you will not blame us for the bullshit that you did. Because guess what? I got through college. I fucking I ordered pizza. I did this. One mic, one mic. I got through college. I delivered pizza. I got through college. I worked at office. At no point in time, an option of shaking my ass and goddamn selling some dick wasn't on the goddamn plate. So you will not blame us for your ass goddamn doing whole activities to, to further your fucking career. Go work at Applebee's. I get to cook it in this bitch. Go ahead. You know, flip the script. That's what you like to do. You like to, you like to piece together shit. We talking about do men trust? Do women um, treat? Do men treat women like they used to? Back in the day, men were real men. Ooh. Go ahead, they, get it. they really led. They put their foot down. Now a nigga can't put their foot down because women don't respect that because they don't give us nothing to respect. I respect that. You know what? Yeah. You're right. You're right. You know what? You know what the thing is. Men treat women the same way they used to treat them back in the day. So I disagree with you on that. Men treat hoes differently. You don't treat a hoe differently. If you over this motherfucker goddamn digitally selling your pussy, I'm gonna treat you different than grandma. If you over this motherfucker putting all kinds of goddamn fruits and vegetables in your cat, I'm gonna treat you different than grandma. Things that grandma did back in the day, I'm not gonna treat you the same. At no point in time can a woman that's doing those kind of things expect that kind of goddamn respect. Oh so yes, we treat women the same. We treat hoes different. Because these hoes are thinking that they goddamn virtuous women. And I say bullshit back to the pot. Let's go for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got my guns loaded up. Okay. Well, I'm talking about that okay. thing. Shoot. Okay. Real go quick. I, 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 and, and this goes back to the point when you ask the question, so whose fault is it? And y'all men of today, y'all glorify hoes. Y'all glorify hoes. Who glorify? Who was glorifying hoes? I just talked shit about hoes for the past five minutes. So what are you talking about glorifying? To the, to the social media, to the every life. Even if I ask y'all right, y'all be like, I want a good girl. I don't want a girl to have her ass out. I don't want titties. I don't want this. But then y'all go on social media and y'all tap, tap, tap under all the bitches that got their ass out so and, you mean, and, and everything. So I'm trying to so understand. You're, saying, you're saying when that. When you ask. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm just saying when you ask who's responsible, it starts with the men. If you huh? men don't say what it is that you like, if you men don't say what it is that you expect, if you men, like she said, don't put your foot down and say, ladies, it's not, we're not, we're not taking it no more, then that, then it will stop. But until then, it's going to continue because y'all like that shit. I, 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 and y'all not going to sit up here and I respect, say, I don't like that I shit. Re I respect what you're saying, and I let you talk. Y'all like but, it. But, but I don't have an only fan. Where the horn at? Where the horn at? One, one at? at a time, one at a time. <laughs> I gave you my <laughs> hold on. So, so hold on. Let, let me get to her right quick. So, ma'am. Um, you, you're basically saying that men glorify hoes. Yes. Y'all do. We I love it. We marry women. We fuck hoes. Ma'am, hold on. You got to understand the difference. Ma'am, I let you talk that bullshit for five minutes. It's my turn. We marry women. We may like a picture on a whole page. 
but we marry women. There is no way in the world I'm about to take the hoe to my house, give her my last name, go goddamn have a whole ceremony with my damn daddy who's in the audience right now with a hoe, okay? So don't misconstrue, ma'am. Women, women try to misconstrue getting dick with getting a man, and there's a difference. Them hoes got some dick. If you want a man, keep your fucking clothes on and your legs closed. Nah, my, Miss Miami was up next. Go ahead, Miss Miami. Go ahead and break it down. I, the, what the question was, do men treat women differently? Yes, I do believe that. But I also believe it's because as I listen to what come out your mouth is if, if you do this, if, if, if. I don't think men of the past was if, if, if. Because I just want to say a lot of you men, when it comes down to this society, you the bottom of the barrel. Ooh, so if yeah. us black women go to if, 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 then y'all won't get no love. And another Ooh. thing I'ma say is, Why are we your, your grandmamas was hoes and your mamas was hoes because granddaddy was taking care of kids that wasn't his. Now, I mean, are, are we gonna be honest about- Maybe your grandmother. Coming out your motherfucking no, mouth. No, the shit coming out my mouth is real. The, the reason why you men don't respect us real is because slow. your mama and your granddaddy wasn't real with y'all about what they was doing with they pussy. Okay? And that's that the social media and the TV is showing y'all more of the truth. Where actually, see the thing is, social media and TV, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't re realize one thing about men. You love hoes, you just don't want your homeboy to know she a hoe. You don't want the neighbor to know she a hoe. So TV and social media. Are you media a man? Why the fuck you keep talking, talking for me, man? You are not a man. Men. You heard song. this shit and Call read this shit on your timeline. You don't know nothing about a man. Except what you heard. Speak for us and how we move. You're trying to talk about men this, men that, and men this. Hold on, wait a minute, ma'am. You're not a man. So what are you talking about? This is a this is an opinion, it's not a fact. You gotta relax. You have opinions. This is a this is an opinion. Now. Go ahead, Miss Miami. Go ahead, Miami. Go ahead, Miss we Miami. all have opinions, and, and like I say, we're fully grown, right? And, and this is history. I don't want to offend nobody, but I'm being honest. And yeah, you just called my grandma a hoe. You got me yeah, fucked yeah. up. Just because your grandma will lose. Hold on, hold on. Just because your grandma will lose, don't mean my grandma will. A lot of grandmamas got pregnant. A lot of grandmamas got pregnant just to, just to fuck cuz. Granddaddy came by the house. And got I some coochie. But yet, y'all talking about Netflix and chill era. Can I, can I say what's Go ahead, Queen. Go ahead, talking to the mic. Go ahead, talking to the mic. Talking down, so what Miss Miami staff. is, hey, what Miss Miami is talking about for real is, back in the day, our grandparents, they went to war. When granddaddy and them was out, grandmama had a fun field day and came back. Niggas ain't know how to count. The baby do, and he ain't been home in 10 months. But she pregnant and they taking care. So I agree with you. It was a lot of backdooring. It was a lot of in and out. It's just publicized today. We got technology. That's just it. So y'all whole shit is publicized. So y'all whole shit is publicized. That's the only thing different. So we should treat y'all different. Oh, because we we stop treating y'all. We stop treating y'all the same because y'all whole shit is is out there in the, in the open. Is that what you're trying to say? One at a time. I'm not trying to hear something. Done is is now publicized. It's nothing. It's nothing private anymore. You're My on grandmama didn't have public. content out on her pussy. My grandma didn't. My grandma did not monetize her pet her cat. My grandma worked for her money. My grandma. Pop ass at the goddamn pool hall on Saturday. So how can I treat you the same way my grandfather treated my grandmother when you do none of the things that my grandmother did? Okay, so this is the thing. Like, everything is so fucked up right now. Just period. You can't even really base 
today off of yesterday. Yes. Because what was going on back then, what the culture was what back then to where it then came now is totally different. I mean, regardless of whether grandma, grandpa was fucking cheating, grandpa's baby across the street was his, but he act like it wasn't, whatever the hell it was, we know really what really fucked all our shit up was, you know, when after all that, just real quick, civil rights after going through that, then, you know, them coming in with welfare, making the black man get out the house and all that type of shit. That's where the division really, really started because really to me, even before all that, we was more together through slavery and civil rights than we are now. But, you know, that kind of was like the first, that was the first detriment on us, you know what I'm saying? And to me, that's where it kind of fucked up because they were more willing to do anything for the black woman and her baby, but the black man couldn't be there. So what's gonna happen to him? He in the streets, so now he gotta rob, steal, kill, sell drugs, become a drug addict. So then they not gonna give him a job, they gonna give a, a black woman a job. So, you know, black women making money, he not, that's gonna fuck up the whole little how I respect you type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that was like the first. Now, fast forward net all the way up to now, bitches is out of control, I'm just keep it all. <laughs> that don't represent me, you don't represent a lot of real Y'all done took the stripper's job, y'all done, the pandemic, y'all done took they goddamn jobs by putting it on Instagram in your living room. I mean, going to the strip club ain't even that exciting no more. Period. Niggas, just go on Instagram and see you shake it the fuck up. Um, no, I don't have an OnlyFans. I do understand how that shit became how it came because of the pandemic, but I'ma just say that, to me, black women, just tripped the fuck out ever since Kardashian, Nicki Minaj getting his fucking bodies done. Like, I ain't never known us to have an issue with having ass and being beautiful, but it's like black women don't really know their beauty. They so caught up on all this BBL bullshit. Um, they want to be treated like a queen, but a lot of them is hoes. And then you got a lot of us that are real women and niggas don't know the difference because to me, Fact, I give you that. I, I take accountability for that. I take accountability for that. They've been caught up in the fucking matrix too. So it's like, now it's like in Atlanta, the, 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 the energy is like niggas want to be chased. They, like we the prize, like the roles have reversed. It's like a lot of weird shit going the fuck on. So it's like, it's so many problems, but I do understand a man fucking a hoe. Like it's a difference between fucking and fucking with you. A nigga gonna always fuck a hoe. He gonna sure. always like a big booty and a smile. That Period. don't mean that's who he taking home to meet his mama. That is. That that's who he trying to marry. But he will bend you the fuck over. Yeah. That, I mean, you know what I'm saying? As long as we- Let's go over here, let's go over there. Keep those now, narratives where it's okay for a man to do that. I'm not That's saying. how we have ain't shit ass niggas. But guess what? When are we gonna get the men, if you don't like this, you stay away from it. If you don't like hoe shit, stay away from hoes. But you got men wanna mingle, mingle with the hoes, and you got the real women who say they real women, and behind the scenes they hoes. The truth is, people need to stay <laughs> in their lane. Right. The people the, the people think hoes only at the strip club. Hoes is at the nine to fucking five. Fuck <laughs> Goddamn OnlyFans and your hoe sucking a nigga dick on her lunch break all cause she made 80,000 a year. So keep it together. The hoes are standing too close to the real women. And, and, it's, and it's men who saying they don't like certain things, but they entertaining the same shit they don't like. Period. I ain't got to say shit this episode. Shit right there. That was and, the hold on, hold on. I'm not. You got it. You got it. Go ahead, Queen. Okay. All right, y'all. So I love the, or the question was, do, do men treat women? women. Okay. I feel like worse than they did. Back I the feel like <laughs> literally this uh, social media generation, they have definitely downplayed how a man is supposed to treat a woman. They call it simping when you're doing mm. stuff for a woman. Right. And I feel like they feel like they're a simp if they go out, if I'm taking her on dates, so if I'm doing stuff for her. I really feel like Jada Way to told little baby to put in that song, if I like it, I spend money on it. Because she saw how these niggas, they'll treat their homeboy better than the girl. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so me, so, and, and you know, and we're looking like, what? damn, and I'm gonna tell you something too, that city girl culture has been glorified. And I'm gonna say a real man ain't gonna fuck with that shit. Thank you. What, what a real man wants is a real woman. He gonna fuck with hoes, like you said, he gonna bend that hoe over. Oh yeah. But that's not who he's taking home to. I think, home. I think, I think that, that there's a, there, salute to you. No, that was great, that was great. If you present yourself as a woman, as a lady, I'm going to treat you as such. Right. Because you will not allow me in your presence unless I treat you as such. Mm -hmm. If you present yourself as a $40 hoe, I'm going to treat you, I'm going to come with the 40. I 
got it in hand. It's in my pocket now. I see why y'all don't know y'all did. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. I let y'all talk that bullshit. I'm just, I'm, I'm not even triggered. What I'm saying is it's all about how you present yourself. Exactly. So if a woman presents herself with virtuosity, loyalty, softness, you know, I'm going to treat her as such. So yeah, it's it's if she's a good girl, I'm gonna treat her good. If she's a naughty girl, we gonna do some naughty shit. And I don't and listen. And everybody serves a purpose. We need hoes. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that it's that damn all hoes must die. No, we need y'all. I'm not saying y'all, but I'm just saying y'all. You know what I mean? But at the same time, at the same time, at the same time, what I don't like is the undercover hoe. No, baby, if you a hoe, present yourself as a hoe and be a hoe. Don't, 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 don't throw shade over my eyes. Don't, don't, don't show me that you would think, have me thinking that you a wife when you know you a hoe. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And vice versa. Right. So just be who you are unapologetically and what was for you will come for you. But what I don't respect is when these hoes be acting like wives and want me to treat you like a wife. Right. They want me to protect and provide for you like a wife. They want me to stand in the paint with you like a wife. Right. When really all you wanted was some money for that cat. I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking, you listen, like you said, hoes, women, everything's needed. I'm not knocking no women or anything for what they do, right? I'm just saying that if you put yourself out there and you ass out, titties out, you don't give a damn about your perception, you you can't be mad if people judge you like that or treat you as no, for sure. like that's that. not get it. If you twisted, come up, though. you know, and, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like trying to act like I'm all that and then some. I'm just saying that I do see women do a lot of flaw shit and then be expecting to still be treated a certain kind of way. Yeah, that don't like, make no sense. Niggas don't want to be no fool. They don't want to be stupid. They not trying to spend money I on talk somebody. To, I talk to them. many women a day. That's what I do for a living. Like I, I do healing work for different people. There are good women out here who cook, clean, never cheat, dress conservative, and still get dog the yeah. fuck. What you mean, dog? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you mean, hold on, hold on. You mean by dog, though? Like That's it's true. it's not all about how you look. It's not all about how you present yourself all the time because the generation we live in, people don't give a fuck. That's a propaganda. No fucks to give. That's people true. don't care about the next. So. You know, yeah, you can you can dress it up and make it real and, and make it cute or whatever, but it's women out here that I know for a fact who are on their shit and who are respectable women are dog the fuck out every day. Okay, but I ask you this That's question. True. I ask hold on, I ask you this question. I ask you this question. That's true. The fact that this woman picked this man and chose wrong, does that consultate her from being a hoe? Does that give her a People right to be a hoe? Does that give her the fucking right? If once you try and you fail, you try again. It's called falling down and getting the fuck back up. Now, if I wanted to be a motherfucking podcast, my first episode only did 52 views. Do I just say fuck podcast and I ain't going to do this shit because it didn't work out the first time? No, I get the fuck back up and keep doing it. I'm not just going to switch up and say, oh, I'm going to start doing porn because podcasting didn't work for me. So where the fuck are you going to stay down for some shit? Women, as soon as women get goddamn put in a situation where she with a fuck nigga because she chose him, now she want to get up and be a hoe. Baby, that is not an excuse. That is not an excuse. You got a king that's waiting for you. You had the wrong eyes for the wrong man. At the end of the day, there is no excuse. If you choose to goddamn be a $40 thot, it's your fault and your fault alone. It's not man's fault. It's not my fault. It's not your daddy's fault. It's your fault for being hot. So her question, her question, now what about when you not a hoe? Right. What about when you are talk a, about regular, that. a regular woman? You, whether you're a school lady or entrepreneur, you working a nine to five. That's your yes, ma'am. What, what if, if she is, you know, a, a solid lady? She ain't sleeping around. She ain't hoeing. She ain't never okay. slid up and down a pole. Okay. But she getting cheated on. Okay. Or, Hold on. Okay. You know, I'm, 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 I'm going to break it down go? for you. Go ahead. That's what her question. Cheating. A man only cheats because a woman won't accept the truth. Uh oh, Nolly, I asked me a question. I'm going to answer that motherfucker. You got to receive the information. Oh, man. Okay. Ask me a question. I'm going to answer that motherfucker. Okay, now let's see the let's information. Hold on, Miss Truth. Miss Truth, I let you. I let you. Okay, you said she. Which one Which one y'all want? Because I, I already debunked that one. I done already debunked that shit right there. Because if, if, if I tell time. Truth, if you, me and you together, and I say that I'm going to Miss Miami house, and I tell you the truth, I ain't cheat. 
because I could have just lied to your ass and slid over there anyway. Okay, get up, get up, get all shit. So, 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 basically, what I'm saying to answer to answer Glow's question, to answer to answer Glow's question, I think. But you ain't finna disrespect. That's still disrespectful. I could be blunt and be disrespectful at the same time. I agree. You finna tell me finna go to no bitch house. So you don't. So you don't want the truth. Hold on. So you don't want the truth. I just told you the truth. I'm going to Miami house. That is the truth. So which one you want? You want me to tell you the truth or lie? Because you're not gonna dibble and dabble. We in Atlanta. Atlanta has and who the says not? HIV rate in the United States. And guess what? You and guess what? When you having your hot girl summer, the HIV rate was up too. <laughs> Women only worry about STDs when it's another nigga fucking a bitch. When they fucking niggas. They never worried about the STDs. Guess the STDs are dormant when they're having hot girl summer. Guess STDs are dormant when they're shooting content. Yes, the STDs are norm are dormant when they goddamn got a side nigga. But as soon as goddamn Lawrence wanna go to goddamn Miss Miami house, all of a sudden it's a fucking STD rate. That's some bullshit. God damn it, you get burnt just like he get burnt, goddamn. So if you wasn't worried about it on your hot girl summer, don't worry about it here. Don't worry about his shit on his side bitch Sunday. Question ahead, because listening. I hear your mindset. I do have. I, I. This is a real question. I don't glorify hoes, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't put no woman over another. With a woman with a pussy, who knows what the fuck she gonna do? That's how I feel. Whether she got a job or in the strip club, okay. and half the strip club ladies, y'all can't even pay for no pussy from them. So, cause OnlyFans, they they making them have such a bag. A bitch don't want your dick. I'm just gonna tell you. So I do have a question. What's the purpose for a regular woman not to be a hoe if they man finna be fucking and hoeing? And it's like you already know. So what's the purpose of you holding yourself? You asking me a question? Nobody else. And your man fucking all the hoes. Are you asking? Isn't he not bringing you? you not are you asking me a question? STD, like she said. You want me? You, you want me to answer the question? Whole ass energy, and you ain't even give up the pussy. You're not. You you so ask right? you ask the question and answer it. Are you gonna ask the question? Okay. I'm, I'm Hold on, no. Ask, let her ask the question. Go ahead, Queen. Go ahead, go ahead. Ask the question again without answering it so I can answer your question. Go ahead. What's the purpose of trying to hoe shame women when if even if they're faithful, you niggas drop dick and, be, and, to, and, and fuck anybody, so you still bring it back that same shit to the girl who you trying to um, shame into being a whore? You, 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 you was out there whoring and you brought that back to your household. You act like that. That don't affect the woman. Look at your face. I'm trying to understand what the fuck you said. I'm trying to be a kick. hoe and be with a hoe ass nigga, cause it's the same fucking thing. Okay. 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 So why okay. was she? What's the purpose? Of that I, I, I think the purpose in her not. Well, fuck it. Y'all answer it then. Y'all want to hear my answer? The fuck purpose it. in her not being a hoe. Now, me personally. Being with a hoe ass nigga. I got what you. Said. I got you. Now, me personally, I, I'm just like you. I don't have an OnlyFans. I don't see nothing wrong with it either. But at the same time, I just respect myself enough and my partner. I don't want my man, us going somewhere, and they can say, oh, shit, Brown Sugar, you was dropping that ass last Thursday. Can you Hell bounce that yeah. ass I'm going to subscribe. No, because, I was, like I said, I just respect myself enough. I don't want every nigga seeing what I got in between my legs. I don't want you to know how the crack of my ass look. Mm. Period. Respectfully. Well, I, period. Respectful woman, and I just want to be respected as such. I see men all the time. Like, my homeboy told me, he said, Jordan, you know, you can really show out on Instagram because how you built, but you don't do that because you know you just respect yourself. And I, I love that a man can see that with me. He can see that with my clothes on, I'm still respecting myself. Back. So I take pride in that. And no. that's why I feel like, yes, she could be a hoe, but she don't want to be a hoe because she love herself enough to not put herself out like that. Yeah, because like, okay, for instance, for instance, Miss Miami, to answer your question, what you do to me is not going to dictate who I, be, who I become as a man. If, if I get with you and you go outside and you be a hoe and you got damn fuck every time dick and hair, I'm still going to be a stand-up individual. I'm still going to raise my kids. I'm still going to take care of my family. I'm still going to protect and provide for the people in my fam family and life that I love. Nothing you can do is going to change who I am. So at no point in time should anything that a man does change who you are. That's weak mind. That's weak mentality. You can't change me. I'm going to be a stand-up individual whether or not, whether you stand up or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real on my end. So I, I pray that that gives you some kind of light on the situation of there is no excuse or scapegoat for you to just go and turn it. Like, you know, girls have the, their whole seasons or whatever after their breakup. You just let that nigga know that he still has control over you. I'm not going to switch up who the fuck I am because of you. 
If you leave me because I ain't making enough money, oh fucking well, nigga, I'm going to keep on going on my purpose and keep on goddamn building my business the way it is. But I'm not going to, but I'm at no point in time because you left me because I wasn't, I didn't have the money for the fun, young. am I going to go over this bitch and crash out and rob a bank? Or I'm going to go over this motherfucker and act out of character just because I ain't have enough money for you? What was, what was for me is for me and what for you, if, you if, if I ain't for you, then oh fucking well. But I'm not yeah. going to change up who the fuck I am for you. So you shouldn't change of who the fuck you is for me. Good women, but with hoes, do you not think you're changing your woman? See, that's the question. Okay. Do you not think you you just said you could do all that shit? I think infid uh, to be to, to be this, told take care of that. But do you not? So you're talking about you you're talking about monogamy. Not changing your girl. You're talking about monogamy. Okay. No, I I, I, no that's what you're talking about. You're okay. You want to have a monogamy conversation? You doing what you do. Give her the mic. Give her the mic. You doing what you do, and you say it don't change you as a father. It don't change it you don't. as this. But do you know? I done had good women and I done had girl. shitty women. I, I'm still me. I done had beautiful women. I done had shitty women. It's, it, 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 it don't change so who I in am. in your relationship, is it all that matter is you or how your woman feels? Does that matter? And what of course it's what matters. Does that matter? How she feels? So as nah, as fuck that shit. Hey, I, nah, hey, man, fuck her feelings. <laughs> Yo feelings don't pay nobody bills. Yo feelings don't put no kid through college. Fuck a goddamn feeling. I'm a logical thinker. I'm not an emotional thinker. What, whose house rent has been paid by feelings? Whose kid has been put through college by feelings? I don't give a fuck about y'all feeling. Your feeling, goddamn it. Your feelings change with a goddamn season. You me? I, I felt this way. Let's talk logic. At the end of the day, it's about goddamn getting together, building generational wealth, me being a father to the kid, you being a goddamn virtuous mother to the kid, and the next generation going on the fourth. Fuck them goddamn feelings. Grandma had feelings, but she stayed down with granddaddy, and that's why we could all come over for Thanksgiving. Fuck them feelings. I see why grandma was having babies with the neighbors. Because I don't see how you all men care. What? To, I don't see how you men hey, care to deal you, with a woman. Hey, hey what, what was your grand hey, mama? What was your I grandma on? A lot of men, this shit no, by it, it, grandma it's a lot has of been. Grandmamas too. It's, it's more crazy. Because see, grandmama and granddaddy. Well, she ratting her, her grandmama all out, but Yeah, she put grandma shit all like on front. Considering what you say, and I respect it, but I see why women do what they do. I see why they For see the girls. I see why they bite the dollar. Cause men want to mess with women who have feelings and who are emotional. So this is all about this feelings. is about dick and why pussy. Why don't y'all go fuck with niggas? This is about dick and pussy. No, you gay, I'm not, baby. You got me fucked up. You gay, I'm not. Matter of fact, you're financially gay, I'm not. Got there some motherfucking enough money on the goddamn floor. You be gay as hell. I'm not. I can't be bought. You can. It's a difference, man. I ain't about to change who I am for anybody or anybody dollar amount. That's the difference between us. You might have a price. I don't. If he, if the nigga ain't doing you right and he cheating, you just got to leave that nigga alone. Hey, Amen. Like, like, you can't Amen. have it. Like, if a man is being a, 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 a hoe, he cheating, like, that's not going to make me go out and want to right. cheat. And be a hoe. But that's the generation. Okay, yeah, but that's the generation we're so, in, and okay. then they wonder why we're not oh, treating okay, them but, the but, way they was being treated but, before. But, but to Grandma make, wasn't tit for tatting listen, with shit. But listen, but sometimes to, she take an L, sometimes uh, she do her thing. Either listen, way, no, she wasn't. She been married 40 years. <laughs> we gotta move forward. 40 fucking years. Oh no, we gotta move forward. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trigger Alert. All right, we gotta go to Pimpy Kid. We gotta go to Pimp and Ken. Pimp, can you please? Because we got a heated conversation and, and I don't feel like we getting anywhere with it. One, two, one, two. On this whole whole shit. Hold on, Pimp and Pimp, go ahead and give us some clarity on this situation, all, my brother. First of all, clarity bitch, is. Hey, man, first of all, a bitch need to shut the fuck up. Oh, hey. Second of all, second of all, <laughs> second of all, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, man, these bitches need to quit jaw jacking and get their motherfucking money to stack it. This bitch is talking about a real man that got fake hair. Fake titties, fake lashes, fake booty, and fake Instagram, but they want a real motherfucking nigga. Look here, man. Hey, man, I don't drive Yugos, I drive Benzos. I don't wear little Gucci, I wear big Gucci. I wear little Fitty, I got big Fitty. You know what I'm talking about? So a bitch want a real nigga, bitch gotta do some real shit. You know what I'm talking about? I don't mind a bitch being broke, and I don't mind a bitch being cute, but a bitch fuck with me, she can't be both at the same time. You know what I'm talking about? 
These bitches, these bitches right here, they're pit, they're, hey, they're pity smart in a fucking dollar dub. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? This is wrong with these motherfucking hoes. They need to understand me bow down because if a bitch don't respect me, I'm taking a bitch to Walmart, I'm gonna put, some, put a pussy in the can and sell it for $9.99. Oh, 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 we gotta move forward. We gotta move forward. We gotta move forward. We gotta move forward. That was a spicy topic. That was a, okay, okay. That was a good one. Hey, all super chats will be read and discussed. Hey, fellas, you are tuned into the most goddamn entertaining podcast in the world. Get my likes up. Miss Miami is here. Glow Show is here. Lorena is, I messed it up, I got it right, Lorena is here, Truth is here, Sweets is here, and Boss Bay is here. That's a good ass show right here, boy. Yeah, that's a good I'm, one I'm right here, boy. Energy that's a good one. y'all doing, y'all want to. We got a $20 super chat that I didn't read because we were too busy goddamn jaw jacket. <laughs> what did he say? Hold on, let me see. Uh, Q Adams, three dollars. Shouts out to you, Nietzsche. Spread the gospel, big dog. Thank you, Q dog. Hey man, I just be telling the real nigga truth, man. That's all I do. Twenty dollars, Lamar Wyatt. Oh, I think he's talking about Glow Show. He says she was talking straight facts. After 1969, that was when everything in the black community changed. Facts. So they listen. We, we be listening in the chat. All right, we gotta move forward. We gotta move forward. That, that, that one was spicy. <laughs> that one was spicy. Oh Lord. Do I go to spicy route beers or do I go to chill? What's your, what's hey man, go how you go when we go in, man. Cause this shit is, I mean, salute to everybody watching. It's uh, it's 300, 400 people in the chat. Salute to everybody that's watching. We halfway we to a thousand. Hit that like button. Get those likes right. Get those likes right. Get them likes right. Everybody across the country that's watching, we appreciate y'all. We see y'all. Salute. Yeah, go ahead and get them likes triggers. up, bros. We want to hit a thousand people tonight. All next topic, triggers. next topic, next topic, next topic. Brought to you by Minister B's hypnotherapy service. Minister B Bettles hypnotherapy service. Anytime you want to manifest something, anytime you want the future to look exactly how you want it, you definitely want to go to Mr. Minister B Better. Uh, hypnotherapy. Do not be scared of it. I was actually, I actually went under four months ago. I manifested a network deal. I just signed one with Dame Dash. I manifested a huge ass house. I just moved in one Thursday. It really works. A lot of people are scared of hypnotherapy. I'm here to tell you that Minister B Better's hypnotherapy, it really works. You can manifest anything, you can become anything, you can be anything. It's all in your mind. You can follow him at Minister B Better, official sponsor of the Ugly Money Podcast Trigger Alert. All right. Okay. This is for you, Truth. Cause I know, cause I know, I know this one. I know this one. You, you, you gotta. This one, this one, going you gon' you gonna kill this. What does the term "I'll submit to the right man" mean to you? <laughs> what does the term "I'll submit to a to the right man" mean to you? Not a damn thing. <laughs> that I bow, okay. and that you can control me. And that I'll do what you want me to do, baby. What? Yeah, that's what it means. It means like I'll bow. To me, it means I'll bow. I'll bow down? Submit. You may dominate me. You may control me. You what? may lead me. What? Okay, that sounds like some beat. What's that thing when you tie them up and you it's whip a, them and a, beat them? It is a dominant shit. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like that. It sounds like you can control me. Beat me, beat me and b go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. But she said I'm submit listening. to the right man. The right man is a protector, a provider. To me, that's when... I'll submit to the right man is, it's not, I don't get me wrong now, I will do all that too. But, okay, okay. <laughs> but that's if he is the right man. So, and, and I wanna stay with Truth right quick. So Truth, what is your thought process of the right man that will make you submit? I don't submit to no nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that is a bud. I don't submit to no nigga. So, so you're not gonna submit to the right man either? I don't submit to no, no woman either. <laughs> I, this 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 is not a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. So it's a partnership. Mm -hmm. Anybody that I'm dealing with, it's a partnership. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, you can guide me. You know what I mean. But I, I do believe in two leaders. We had that argument the other day. But I do believe that there could be two leaders, and I don't need nobody to control anything that I got going on. So I'm not going to get to no nigga. I, I respect that. Okay, so. 
you work. You've had a job before, right? I'd when imagine. I was 17. Okay, cool. On this job, you had a boss. Correct. So what job was it, if you don't mind me asking? It was at Subway. Okay, Subway. Cool. Mm -hmm. 17. We're not talking about now. Yeah, we're not 17. talking about now. All right. Your, your supervisor comes in. He says, hey, I need you to bake more bread for the customers. Mm -hmm. You go do it. Right. That's the mission. I was there one day, y'all. Okay. But, one day. But I'm just saying. Because I, I realized I couldn't submit to nothing. I couldn't, so I've been an entrepreneur ever since then. The motherfucker said five different things to do before I left and only did one because I could only remember one after he said all that shit. Like, who the fuck you think finna do all that for in an hour for how many, how many dollars? No, I'm never going to submit to nothing. So you've never, you've never had a situation where... Uh, you had a supervisor or an investor or someone, even with your entrepreneurial business, you never had any partners or silent partners or investors that you have to mind their... No. 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 Boss of her life. I've been the boss of my life. Like, it, it's, it's been a problem, a gift and a curse. <laughs> so I'm going to say that. So, so my question to you is, if I own this strip club... Correct. And I need your ass to clean up these damn bottles at the end of the night in order for you to work here. Are you going to do it? No, it can't be no job. Today. You're fired! Yeah. As I happen to know the strip club that she works at. Your ass don't clean up the motherfucking bottles if you don't want to. Your ass going to be unemployed in this motherfucker. Your ass don't goddamn motherfucker make sure you get them bottles up and goddamn shake that ass with a goddamn bottle sparkles cup. You going to find another place to work. Because at the end of the day, motherfucker can cap all goddamn day like they ain't got nobody to answer to. But we all do. Goddamn it, you work in the strip club, the owner, he going to tell your ass what to do, what bottle to pull out, what kind of sparkles, which section, how many goddamn chicken wings, and you going to do that shit. So don't give me that bullshit about you not submitting to your man. You submit to your boss. That's your motherfucking job. That's why half the hoes in the apartment stand. Don't give me that nose bullshit. Gotcha. Go ahead, Miss Miami. Go ahead, Miss Miami. When I hear statements like that, ahead, I do feel, especially in this red pill, blue pill podcast world, if that's even what it's called, I think a lot of men don't. I think they get in their feelings when they realize he not him. A lot of women have the ability to submit, but you not him. So a lot of every, a woman, if a woman just submit to every man, I'm gonna be honest. To me, that would be a whore. That's a whore. You do like that. that. Every nigga, you ain't got no special standard to jump through no hoops. Exactly. So like, so for me, I'm I may not seem submissive to a man that's not him, but for somebody who when I, you know, cause I'm gonna be honest, y'all men like to judge whores and all this. Well, us women, we judge y'all decision making. A lot of y'all be wanting women to submit, and y'all done made bad decisions in your life, in in, in love, in, in what you got going on, and then be mad when a woman don't listen to you. And then women have not said nobody's better, but then you have women who have feel like they've made good decisions. It's hard to follow a man who done made bad decisions. So again, so some men say we, some women are submissive, but he's just not him, and he have not showed reasons why I a woman agree. should submit. I agree, I agree with you. I, I agree, agree with you. I can't believe I agree with you. Yeah, I don't think I don't I'm think I don't think you're right. Yeah, I don't think you're, right, yeah, don't think you're supposed submit. to submit to anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna submit if he's no, right. yeah, yeah. I don't think right. you're supposed to submit to anybody, uh, Miami. I think that you should definitely pick and choose who's worthy of your submission. But at the same time, you have to understand what I what I do hold women accountable for is not knowing the difference between him and them. And, and a lot of times, women are so accustomed to seeing them that when a him shows up, they treat him the same way, and that's not gonna work. I'm speaking for the hymns in the world. I'm speaking my my, my platform is for protectors, providers, and niggas that stand in the paint. That's what we talk about all the time on this show. You feel what I'm saying? And so if I'm protecting and providing and leading y'all and leading my family and my and my household into a good area and a good a good direction, why wouldn't you submit? That's true. You should. And I would. And that, I think any woman with sense would. But at the end of the day, I feel like that word submit in Atlanta is 
basically like chicken wings. They everywhere. <laughs> like and and like it, it's a lot of niggas that that want to be him, but like she said, they he not him. Right. And then when you don't want to submit, you know, now it's like man, you don't want to these bitches. These bitches is dykes. They lesbians. They don't. You know, it's like no, bro. You you it ain't it ain't it ain't, it ain't in you. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it it's it wings like everywhere, it. but it's not good wings everywhere. You <laughs> always got to keep that in mind. That's you true. can get wings everywhere, but trust me, it's certain places they you got no to go to get that motherfucking like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, Christmas. you know, we just got to be, and I'm not saying y'all for women, I'm going to say we, meaning men also. We just have to be a little bit more mindful of the people we choose to lock in with. Go ahead, you boss, man. Sometimes, sometimes we judge off of superficial reasons that's really not what we're supposed to judge and base relationships off of, but, you know, I think both of us, sometimes we fuck up on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Real shit. Like, it go both ways. It go both like, ways. No, Real shit. Me, nobody is perfect. Like, we all need work. We all could be better. Boss Bay, you had something to say? Go ahead, Boss Bay. I do. I just wanted to say that in these days and times, it's like we living in Sodom and Gomorrah days. Like, yeah. everything is a freestyle. Like, everything is accepted. Like, everything. So, it makes it hard in what's even a hoe. I mean, we have lifestyle parties. I've been to a lifestyle party where it was like 40 people just randomly having sex. But this was oh. okay. Ain't that a swingers? Party? Where was I mean, this? That's, that's what I like that. What happened in what day was it? Why are you, you crying about that? Let, let her go. Let her go. I'm go ahead, saying baby. that we live in a generation where everything is accepted. So what is a hoe or what is a dog? Like, for some people, it's all perception. It is what it is to you. Uh, no. A hoe no. is a hoe. A dog I, is a dog. And that's just what it's gonna be. You can try to water that down, you can try to dress it up, you can try to put makeup on it. A hoe gonna be a hoe. If there, if there is a price on your pussy, Pippi Kid, can you please go to Pippi Kid? Can you please define us what a hoe is? Because uh, uh, they're trying to redefine the whole whole shit. A hoe, a hoe. Go ahead, go ahead Pimp. Well, first of all, man, I wanna say as far as submit, right? I understand what they saying about submit, but you know, if a bitch fuck with me, I'm gonna turn that trap into a champ. I'm gonna turn that boss hole into a boss hole. If the bitch can't submit, submit to me, I'm gonna put the bitch, I'm gonna fold up like a briefcase, put it up on the plane, and send her fucking ass to Spain. You know what I'm talking about? Hey man, I am Gaddafi. The bitch is little country. It is a dictatorship, not a relationship. My dick stands for dick take. Okay, first of all, as far as hoes, you know what I'm saying, they free. But you upset me, it's got a lot of hoes, you got pros. See, see, uh, uh, hoes are prostitutes. Pros get real money, that's the difference. Ooh, I like that. I feel you though, boss, babe. I, I, I think you're misconstruing hoe with freaky. No, we can be nasty, baby, we can be nasty. Yeah. Me, if, say we together, we can get it nasty as we want to. <laughs> and you know what, it is me and you and we doing some freaky ass shit on our own and we own what we own. But the moment that you that you, me and you together, and you violate our pact, our agreement, and you go fuck on biz and King, well, King gonna make you, he gonna charge you Stan and Rob and my daddy, and, 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 and E, you a hoe. The difference. Now, if we choose to goddamn go get true fast and goddamn make us submit to us in the bedroom, then goddamn it, we just some freak. Go ahead, sweets, go ahead, sweets. <laughs> go ahead, sweets. We know, we know, we know. Um, Okay, I, I I just want to throw this out here. I think the problem is you have a lot of men that 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 say that they are leaders, but they don't want to actually take the responsibility of the leader. Okay. And then you have a lot of men that that want the woman women to submit to them. But what are we submitting to? Ooh, so if the home is not taken care of, I don't understand why you would think a woman is supposed That's to your job! <laughs> nope, see, that's what we talk. Y'all don't know y'all goddamn wrong. It's my job to provide a house. It is your job to turn it to a home. Your job to cook, your job to clean. I'm protection and provision. You peace and pleasure. You talking about the home not taken care of? Your ass supposed to come out there with the motherfucking mop and take care of it. What the fuck am I goddamn doing? I can't cook like you, queen. I can't clean like you, queen. That's no role. My job is to take that car or whatever and, fit and, and, and fill your gas tank up, change your oil, do that kind of shit. Throw the football out with your goddamn nappy-headed ass son. That's my job. Why 
you trying to get me to do what you supposed to do? It's your job to keep that motherfucking house together. You need to clean better. You need to go find somebody with OCD and take some notes. Tell me I'm in this motherfucking cleaning. I don't pay these goddamn bills and you talking about I got to clean up too? Back to the apartment. Clean. I'd rather get the bacon, nigga. I'd rather get the bacon. You can cook bacon. and clean and take care of the children and drop no. them off at the You don't end. make as much as me. So I don't need you to pay my fucking bills. Yeah. Because you, you don't know the clean. difference between him and you. You think that little goddamn little money you make, goddamn, gonna make a goddamn difference to a big boss no. nigga like me? Oh, shit. See, y'all can play that big bank, take little bank shit with them goddamn weak ass niggas that y'all know. Weak ass niggas that y'all like. Weak ass niggas that y'all play with. It's gonna be a boss ass nigga with boss ass money and boss ass dick that's gonna put you in your motherfucking place. And I said what the fuck I said. You can't play big bank, take little bank with me, baby. I get the popping in the smoke. Move I agree with him. I agree with him. Wait, wait, wait. I think you have it confused. I don't want to. It's okay for you to go get the bacon. We not arguing over who going to get the bacon. Get By all means, go get the bacon. You can bring it home. I'm going to make sure it tastes good and it's going to be clean and it's going to be lovely. You know what I'm saying? When we lay that. I'm not disagreeing. I don't want the man to do. I, I believe it's roles. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm going to play my role okay. and you play your role. Mm -hmm. When I say the house taken care of, I mean the fact that there's even a house there in the first place. It's already there. You know what I'm saying? Like, my you bill's got, on auto You pay. got a lot of niggas that they ain't even no foundation and they like, do what I say do. Oh, no, 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 to take that shit home to. You feel what I'm saying? We're not talking about the fuck niggas. Okay, but. Hold on, ma'am. We're not talking about the fuck. You got a lot of fuck niggas that watch this show. Hold on, ma'am. You snapped. You snapped on that one. We're I'm just saying, y'all out there. Yeah. Out there. Sweets. It's more fuck niggas out here than real I'm niggas. I'm just saying. For sure, like, for sure, for, for sure. Right just like it's more hoes than wives. No, no, it's, it's way it's more not. hoes than wives. It's, it's more riders than it is hoes. It's a small percentage of hoes. What? Unfortunately, no, what? I, what? No, it's huh? hoes. I'm not saying that. Oh, oh, it's hoes. It's hoes all across the country and across the land. It ain't no wives on goddamn this land right now. Wait, the girls just like the boys. It ain't no wives on goddamn this land right now. Wait, the girl just told us they don't believe in marriage no Who the fuck you think want to get married nowadays? This ain't back in the day. I can't make this shit up. Was y'all here? Excuse me, bro. I can't make this shit up. Like, no, it is. The women has changed, bro. Good women out here. That's bullshit. I'm riding for the good women. I ride for the good. Sister. I respect you on that. I'm for the well, all I, I don't I, know I, what I, we got going. I'm, I'm and what, I, what, I, what I'm riding for is the good men. Good and you sister. know what? It, 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 if if I'm a good man and I protect and provide and take care of my kids and do what I'm supposed to do, can you please sit your fine ass in the house and be yes, a woman? Yes, I will sit my ass right here. I will sit my ass. Can you right please here. be submissive and goddamn treat me with some <laughs> no. kind of respect? No. Yes. Can you please? Make yes. sure that when I leave the show, I got some food to go home to. Yes. That's all I want. Yes. You're going to eat. You're going to eat. Then, and, then, and then can you please? Yes. Don't. And that's why your ass single now. There's a word in the Webster's Dictionary. It's called incorrigible. Google incorrigible. Some people cannot be helped. Some people will never see the light. And guess what? When those people are like that, especially when they're women, they always end up with a guy named Nate. When the fifth comes and they masculine asses ain't got they whole goddamn rent, they ain't submitting to no nigga. It's always an old nigga ready to goddamn.
goddamn make the difference. I'm and I'm not saying, I'm not saying anybody up here only going on that. But there's always, there's, there's a whole lot of old niggas that see the young bad bitches on about the fourth because they ready to get kicked out on the fifth. So rather than submit to Tyrone, you rather suck on Nate. God damn it, we'll go so be it. God damn it, I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other motherfucking time. You're going to be in the bar one day, big dog. You're going to be in the bar. What about the women that sit at home and when the divorce happened, they don't got nothing to fall back on because you've been sitting on your ass. You don't got nothing to put on the resume but cooking and motherfucking cleansing. And sucking and fucking. And sucking and fucking your man and, wa and, and washing his drawers. No, baby. I'm going to be getting the bag. That's your fault. Just because niggas fall off too every day, B. And then what you got to fall back on? A bitch that's sitting at home cooking and cleansing. And then, and then they're going to start looking not at me. her like, oh, you don't do nothing. Not you don't bring nothing But you know table. what? But How you know what? Just because you're a housewife, they're woman. I feel like just because you're a housewife, it does not mean you just have to sit at home and cook and clean. For sure. You can have your own business. For sure. You need to have an online store. You need to be doing something sure. other than cooking. Sure. Yeah, Don't be sitting at home watching TV, eating bonbons and what? shit. Like, be productive. I feel you. Even though you at the crib, you can get a get a, get a job. But, like, but this, this my thing. This my thing. Get some remote. Miss Sweets. This is my thing. When you have, ladies, y'all gotta understand, like, when you have one of them productive provider dudes, that's your time to go run up. That's your time to start the real estate business. Right you on. have You have an investor. But she that's your, exactly. Hold on, ma'am, hold on. That's your time to goddamn get the holistic uh, building together. You have an investor. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? If I get with you, goddamn it, I already got a 4,000 square foot. Goddamn, take 150 of it exactly. and handle exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but best believe, uh, if I'm if I'm bringing those kind of opportunities to you, you gonna shut the fuck up when I want you to shut the fuck up. If I invest, if I invested, if I invested that front end on that house, if I invested the front end on her house, oh she gonna suck this dick when it get home. If I motherfucker goddamn uh, bought the goddamn boutique or whatever, oh yo your, your ass gonna bend that ass over whenever I rent. I'm not about to be arguing with somebody that I take care of. That's like me arguing with my dog. Pay your bills, nigga. You gonna do as I say, and we gonna work it out from there. We gotta move on, though. We gotta move forward. We got sorry. We gotta we gotta move forward. We have a fifty dollar super chat. We get another fifty dollar super chat. I might ask these ladies to stand up. Boy, I'm talking about when they stand up, boy. It's some, it's some, it's some heavy motion on this motherfucking stage. It's from my rich friend, Rob Green. $50. Question for the ladies, and this is the next topic. If your man can already cook, clean, and is rich, what do you bring to the table? And we're going to start with Miss Miami. I, I hate when men ask that question. <laughs> Because it makes me feel like they never had a woman in their life. Like, I bring the balance. Like, because men are only one side. Like, that's why women make everything better. We make everything, you know. And not to be like that, I'm going to be honest. Men don't feel like they ain't shit until they have a woman. So, nigga, I damn near make you. How the fuck about that? I don't make you as far as when it comes to. You say I don't feel like me, a man, until I got a woman. Bullshit. <laughs> What goddamn planet you done jumped off of? Baby, I'm that nigga. Whether or not you like me, whether or not we together, whether or not we apart, my bank account gonna be the same with or without you. I don't need you to define me. We walk in a room together. Guess what? They gonna see your ass, but they gonna see me too. You know what I'm saying? You, hey, as many niggas that wanna take pictures with you, be as many people that wanna take pictures with you, y'all dealing with weak ass niggas. Need no woman to define me. I'm ugly, money needs you with or without you. The only motherfucker that can say they made me was my motherfucking father here in the audience right now. Bitch can't make me go. I built this motherfucking shit on my own. It ain't take no hoe, no bitch, no wife, or whatever to do everything. God damn it, I know there's at least two commas in my bank account, so I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah, I don't need you for to define shit. He gotta have ladies up here to get some views, right? Bullshit. I, my, oh, you got her fucked up? Flash, baby. And my first fucking viral interview was I asked Young Jock before I go broke like Jock, fuck with that dog like Vic and asked him about 42 dog, want a bitch on that stage. My second viral video was Fu 
Fujiano's first interview before he got signed to Gucci Man did a half a million views. What a bitch day. My third viral video was Charleston White that did over a million views. And he said, fuck King Von. What a bitch day. Ain't no bitch to find ugly money Nietzsche. Ugly money Nietzsche to find ugly money Nietzsche. Fuck you talking about. You cute as shit, but you done bumped your head tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby, go ahead, go yeah, ahead, go ahead. talking about you. That's why I don't fuck with rappers in this video. I ain't no rapper. Nigga, uh, uh, well, I'm not talking about you. It ain't, <laughs> okay, it ain't okay, okay. about you. I know this your podcast, but we talk about <laughs> Okay, to talk about the food, rappers. You know go ahead, talk to the rappers. It's for us to learn. It's for the fuck niggas and the real niggas to learn how to operate together, and it's for the real women and the whores to, uh, to understand. So are you going to answer the question, what you bring we to the know table? You the shit, Michi, let, let that rub off on me. I love you too. But no, for real. But that's really what it is. We do live in a generation, I will say that, and that's very much disrespectful. I, I get, you, you know, it's all fun and games, but really, we in our society, we deal with people who, they know the value of women. They want to put us on the on the on on the stage, they want to put us in the video. You still ain't answer that man's question. But as soon as we do that shit for ourselves, they want to call us a hoe. They want to say you dress like this for yourself. They don't want to respect you no more. But when you was out there doing it for them, and they gave you fifty dollars, what do you bring like, to not, the table? Not a dollar. Or like these rappers put on their damn door. Oh, if you coming back here, you need to be sucking dick. See, that's how that, that's what? the value that men want us what? to bring. But then what do you bring to the table? Hotter. Like I said. Somebody said you had I, to I don't know the wet. difference between real. When it comes down to real, I'm, I'm just looking at. I, I, it, the question it, was, what do you bring to the table? Like I said, balance. Every fucking thing your ass ain't got. And attention. You niggas don't get attention until you got bitches around. Bullshit! Like, yeah, I fuck with you. All right, 30 minutes later, she answered it. She says balance. Anybody else want to answer that question? <laughs> if your man can cook, if your man can clean, and he is already rich, what can you bring to the table? I mean, a hell of a partner. Hey. I'm, I'm going to be a good partner. Emotion I'm going to be your emotional intelligence, you know, in nurturing to you, bringing in that vibe that you need. Because for one, I mean, you going to get married because you want a partner. Like they said, remember you was talking the other day on one podcast, you was like, I'm not going to get with no OnlyFans chick because obviously you don't know how to make good decisions. I'm not going to get with no girl who half naked online because you don't make good decisions. I want a real partner. So, like, that's me. I'm going to bring that emotion. Yeah. Okay, you know, okay. Gonna... Partnership. Yeah. That's not a partnership. Okay. Glo, you just seem like you got something. I mean, you know, I can cook. I can clean. I can do all the shit he do. Mm -hmm. um, but I can also be his balance, his peace. I can bring that's the word. <laughs> We were looking for were. You know, you gonna have some good stuff, some good, good. And you know what I'm saying? We 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 can pretty much make it happen. We can be a team and do whatever we need to do. Salute. That, that, ladies, I think I think some of you guys don't understand just how valuable peace is to us. I do, I do, I get You feel it. what I'm saying? Like you do, 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 on my do, arm over and over. Do y'all know that you can get whatever you want from a man? If you learn how to be peaceful. See, y'all, a lot of women, not saying y'all, a lot of women think it's pussy. Pussy gonna bring us to the party. Okay? You want us to stay at this motherfucker? Bring some peace. We gonna lay our hat down and we gonna stay here. And the fact of the matter is, if, if, you, if I'm dealing with you and you're peaceful, and at the end of the day, when I walk out this house and I, I go to work, my nuts are empty and my head is clear, queen, you're not going nowhere. And I'm gonna do whatever it is or whatever it takes to keep your ass just like that. I would just like to interject okay. that, um... <laughs> Spell interject. <laughs> Don't play with me. I was I'm just spelling. My bad. I was my, just I'm spelling just, B. Don't play with me. Okay, I'm just I have asking. a, I have a I'm bachelor's degree. Do not play with me. I'm Don't play me like that. Okay, I have degrees. Got degree. <laughs> you got degrees. <laughs> and yeah, loans. But okay, anyway. But the point. I, I just want to piggyback off of off a of glow uh, with the peace. But it's not just about the peace with me. I I enjoy it. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm to make you happy. Yeah. Um, because like you could, the, the biggest thing about women is like, I don't want to submit, I don't want to do what he say. It shouldn't even be about, I don't want to submit, I don't want to do what he says. You should want to do it. You should happily want to do it. Like just for example, if my man, it could be two in the morning because we be up late, we, 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 we night out. So it could be two, three in the morning. He like, babe, I want, I want a sandwich, for example. I'm gonna go get him the sandwich. If I go down the stairs and I'm like, oh damn, I forgot his drink. Baby, did you get your juice? Do you got something to drink? Okay. Oh, you don't got nothing to drink. I'm gonna go down and get you something to drink. Oh, damn, I forgot your, 
all right, let me go down and get that. So it's like, it doesn't matter how many times I do it. It doesn't, I enjoy doing it. So that's what I bring. Hey, hey. Oh, I know that's right. I Salute to her, it. man. Yes. You're doing the right thing, brother. Continue with that work you're putting in. You're doing the right thing. And I like what you're doing out there, sir. Let's go Respect to the pimp. You, Let's go to the pimp. Pimp, what you got to say about that? If a man could cook clean and is already rich, what should he look for a woman for? First of all, women. If you listen out there, if you find somebody that that that's sweet, you better get with them. I'm telling you, cause hey, it's a shortage of men. Like the sister was saying earlier, I want to be more serious now. The sister was saying earlier, it's been an attack on the black man and the black family for a long time. Mm. We have a significant amount of single parent women are raising their children. But I'm gonna give you the secrets to how to keep. It. I got man, the women I deal with, they don't leave me. You know what I'm saying? Me and they submit to me. Listen, to what I'm trying to tell you. Men are actors and women are reactors. Your woman is a reflection of you. If you give your woman food, she's going to cook for you. You give her a house, she's going to give you a home. She's an incubator. You know what I'm saying? You give her sperm, she's going to give you a child. It's what you put in her is what you're going to get out of her. But if you're a puss-ass nigga, you a sucker, you know, you're doing sucker-ass shit, you out here in Magic City throwing her money away? You in Magic City, you know what I'm saying? Me dating these funky ass bitches that you ain't gonna never. <laughs> I mean, funky I, I, bitch. I, I, I'm not, I'm funky not knocking, bitch. I'm not knocking the pimping. You know, if you're a pimp, I, I respect the hustle. But I'm just saying, you can't do all that shit then come home to a, your woman and expect for her to respect you. Y'all see me in the strip club. Y'all never see me sweating no bitches. You don't never see me throwing no money. You don't never. It, it, the beautiful woman could come in an ugly money spot right now. You don't never see me sweating. I'll be chasing these bitches. You know what I'm saying? And that's what your woman want to be able to respect. She want to respect you as a man. So whatever you give her, she going to give you back. But you got to make sure that y'all equally yoke and your rhythm match her rhythm. You know, and that's just the, the real game, man. You just got to really, you don't quit raising these bitches' skirts and start raising their thoughts. Hey! Hey! Pimpin! Pimpin! was Pimpin! Church and Tabernacle. The best show in the world. Church and Tabernacle. The best show in the world. Pimpin's been pimpin', pimpin'. You know, I, I, I want to I wanna change the vibe. I want to change the vibe, bitch. Go ahead. I want to change the vibe. I want to ask... Some trivia. Okay. Let's do trigger alert trivia. <laughs> you didn't tell me about trigger alert trivia. Do it. Let's do I it. I want to try something different today. Okay, we're doing some new shit. I have some questions up here, and these are fourth grade level questions. Fourth grade trivia. And I'm going to ask each of you guys one fourth grade level question. You can ask us questions too. We ain't tripping shit. Okay? I want to ask some, uh, some fourth grade level questions. All right, first, we'll start with Miss Boss Bay. Miss Boss Bay, how many sides are on a Pentagon? <laughs> you talking about the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., right? I mean that's that is that that is a bit. <laughs> that's a shape. It's a shape. It's a shape, not the building. She's not wrong. There's a building called the Pentagon, but there is also a shape called the Pentagon. Yeah, you're not wrong. You ain't wrong. Same shit. Either or. Six. Okay, six six shapes. That's wrong, but go ahead. Okay, we'll go for we'll go to Miss M. <laughs> we'll go to Miss Sweets. Okay. Sweets, what it, 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 it was five. It's okay. It's okay. That's not it. That's not it. It was five. That's all right. Penta means five. Okay. Uh Miss Sweets, what is the capital of France? Uh is it Paris? Congratulations! Sweet, you go ahead and you go ahead and get your body butter. You want some body butter from three young queens. Okay. Okay, let me, let me, let's see. Ooh, this body butter is called Pink Privacy. Yeah, look at uh -huh. you. That's what it smells like. Okay. Ooh, All right. Ooh, it smells lovely. Miss Truth. Yes. Oh, wait a minute now. Miss Truth, your question. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> 
<laughs> Name three countries that are not in North America. Asia. Asia is a great country. Africa is a great country. Asia, Africa, and. Um, One more? You almost there? That's not in North America? That's not in North America. Three countries that and are South not in North America. Oh, gosh. And that's why you need a fucking man. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't submit your ass don't know the difference between a country and a continent. Are you fucking serious? You cannot make this shit up, man. Asia is a continent. Africa is a continent. And South America is a continent. Those are none of those are countries. Countries are like Brazil. Countries are like Mexico. Countries are like France, Germany, China. You need a man more than anybody on this goddamn stage tonight, baby. I love you. You're fine. But you need some direction, goddammit. I ain't gonna see you back to the province. I'm gonna see your ass back to fourth grade. I fuck with you, too. She gonna cuss my ass out in the morning, boy. Okay. I still want my goddamn shea butter. You give her the give her. She ain't. Boss, man, get your shea butter. Get your body butter, too, fool. Oh, Lord. Okay, Miss Lorena, I said it right, Lorena. Lorena. Lorena, Miss Lorena. Okay. What is the smallest planet in our solar system? Pluto. It's kind of a trick question because Pluto was considered a microplanet now, but before it was considered a microplanet, it was the smallest planet. It's actually Mercury, but you're, you're kind of right. Get your body, buddy. They just changed it. When you was at school, it was Pluto. I get, I get on Ben's ass, too. I get on Ben's ass. Hold on. I get on Ben's ass. Hold on. Let me see something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ben's. Okay, Ben's. Okay, Ben's. What? All right, Biz, I'll make it real easy for you, dog. Hold, hold it, it down for right us. Now. I'm hold doing it. what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> hold it down for us, Biz. What type of bird is a penguin? What? What type of bird is a penguin? I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't a penguin. A penguin. What type of bird is it? Right, give me the answer right now. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's so that I don't know that shit. Tell what, me what, what answer what, what is right now. What does or what doesn't a penguin do? What doesn't a penguin do? Yeah, what does or doesn't a penguin do? What doesn't a penguin do? Uh, it don't fly. Okay, thank you. It's a flightless bird. Questions in that, cuz. Okay, bro. You gotta okay. give me some raw ass. You, okay, I, I got one more for you. I got one more. Raw shit. I got a raw one. I got, a, I got a raw one. I don't want I got no you. motherfucking penguin <laughs> question, bro. I got you. I got you. No, no Who, niggas, no penguins, bro. Biz, I'm gonna get you again. Who invented the telephone? Oh, okay. Um, Thomas Edison. No, that's not right. But got that. You made it sound good, though. Alexander Graham Bell. Graham Bell, okay, goddamn. Okay, that's the end for me. Fuck them questions. <laughs> I ain't doing no more fucking questions, and I don't like the fucking game anymore. How about that? Put that down on the fucking questions. It's all <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, it's fun. See, I want y'all, y'all can, fine, y'all can think of y'all fourth grade question to ask me. I answer them motherfuckers. I ain't tripping, goddamn. We keep this shit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Miss Miami. <laughs> What is 13 minus 9? These nuts. Go on to the desk. Go on to the desk. Y'all have fourth grade questions. Now I don't play no games. 13 minus 9 is a second grade question. These nuts. How many that is? 13 minus 9. If it take you more than five seconds, go. We go. <laughs> Answer is these nuts. Stick, yeah, that's what you probably gonna need to do. Hi, right. last one of the night. Last one. 
<laughs> Last one of the night. <laughs> Niggas don't like this goddamn show. Hey, okay. Um, cause you look like you smart as hell. You look like you smart as hell, man. Okay, 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 okay. Miss Glow Show. What do you call what do you call a baby kangaroo? Uh, is it a joey? Yes, that's it's a, a joey, I think. Ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, right. Get your three young queens body pump. Yeah, yeah, y'all got y'all got y'all got a question for me? Y'all got a fourth grade question for me? Y'all got a y'all good? Okay, cool. I'll get out of there. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna move forward with the next topic. I wanted to break the monotony up or whatever. It was getting kind of spicy up here. Okay. Does a woman, no, excuse me, does a man that is slinging community dick deserve to be with the be in a monogamous relationship with a woman? Hell no. 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 Go ahead, Miami. Oh, we just wanted to say no. No, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Miami, so you're saying that a man that sleeps with other women does not deserve a monogamous woman? Hell no, nah. he deserve a whole ass, he deserve the hoest of the hoest. Cause uh, that's the only person that's gonna, you know, make him feel like he make other women feel. Wait, I have a question. Uh, hold on, no, 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 we're still in Miami. Hold on one second, sweet, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We can talk the whole shit over here, okay. Mm. Uh, so you're saying that the man, because he sleeps with other women, should not have a monogamous relationship. Of course. Got you. So it is a woman that has an OnlyFans that shows her vagina on Instagram. Does she deserve a monogamous man? Yes, she does. Yeah, that's why you got the shit fucked. Fuck. See, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. No, you think you can goddamn plaster your goddamn pussy all over the goddamn net? You think I'm about to keep this dick to myself? Oh, you everybody bitch online. You think I'm about to be only your dick in the motherfucking real life? No, you want to put a show on the goddamn ground? I want to put a show in Pam. What the fuck you talking about? So if you can goddamn flirt your cat and strut your cat all over there, I'm going to strut this dick wherever the fuck I need to. Keep the goddamn same energy. A nigga can't be a hoe, you can't be one either. If you if you charging five dollars to see yourself ass naked, I'm gonna proposition you for some money too. Cause bitch, if it ain't number five to see you naked, how much they put to cost? Five dollars? I'm gonna be honest. See, it's a numbers game. I like I like nerds. I like men who's about money and numbers. If you know business, you know. I numbers. just asked you what thirteen and, minus and nine I was, know. and you said nothing. <laughs> Don't talk to me about numbers. Motherfucking number. Numbers don't apply to you. Sing your ABC. Do some goddamn, do some goddamn science. Fucking history. Do not talk about any number. What is 13 minus 9? Until you answer that, I don't want to hear nothing about no numbers from you. I don't do that. So like well, I said, this to be so let's get into it four. because as women, now I'm not vouching for people who have OnlyFans. I don't, I don't want to make it seem like that. But I do feel like we do live in a world where people have to get just a little more educated, especially when it comes to social media. I'm a content creator. So let me tell you about these OnlyFans people. People like to be like $5. If you got 2,000 people paying $5, how much are you making every month? Money. That's not the tip. You know what I'm trying to say? So, and I'm going to say this too. If a woman is not having sex and she's charging $5, and let's say she makes $5,000 per month on OnlyFans, mm -hmm. do you think she wants your dick even if you're giving her $500 or $1,000? OnlyFans has fucked up the game. I'm not saying it in a good way, but I'm just saying, a lot of regular girls who don't have OnlyFans is doing really whole shit because women who have these platforms, they are unfucking touchable and unreachable, and they fucking niggas like Lil Baby who charge giving them $5,000. Mm -hmm for I don't know how long a session. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to say that like that. We just said Jada Waiter, but y'all, little baby went viral for giving somebody a lot of money. With you right. 16, you know so I'm just saying that. So I know we say these things to be funny. I got you, baby. But the numbers don't lie. 13 minus nine, that number lies. <laughs> that motherfucking number lied like a motherfucker. It's still lying right now. I can 
Jersey, I'm going back to Miami right now. Bitch, was 13 minus now. Oh, your numbers lie like a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. I appreciate you, man. I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. <laughs> yes, sweets. Go ahead, queen. Okay. Quick question, because okay. she had asked at the beginning when you had initially asked a question about the man and he's slinging the dick. So if he got community dick, can he have a monogamous relationship? Now, in this monogamous Y'all said relationship, no. is he still slinging community dick? Or did that was before and now he's in a monogamous relationship? No, I'm going to sling community. He want to sl- no, I'm going to put it in myself. Hold on. I'm slinging community dick. Okay? And, and hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to explain it to you. I'm slinging community dick. Okay? Okay. I don't post it, but I recorded it. Okay? So, the fact that I'm slaying community dick, should you be able to be monogamous with me? And you said no. So I said, in turn, if you getting fucked online, why should I be monogamous to you? It's a double question. It's cool when you do it. It's a problem when I do it. (laughs) Fuck off. Does it. Is flesh. Ma'am, go ahead, go ahead. Well, go ahead. I mean, because no, 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 Tell me it's a, it's technology. No, that's your pussy right there. It's not fucking technology. Look at your fucking pussy. I'm looking at it. I'm talking about it's, it's technology. Well, whose pussy am I looking at right now? Technically on this technology right now. Let me get. Let me get, let me get no. What the fuck we talking she about? Paid and you she land paid. on your back for free. You. You are a zero dollar hoe. A zero dollar hoe. Right. You no, know, you just want to dress it up and sell pussy and make it feel better but when you do it and it. how you do it. Oh, you yeah. didn't fuck that me, but you just seen my you pussy. Like you never pussy. met you me, no but you seen everything inside my, my pussy to my ass. Man, this and shit is bullshit. You selling pussy. No, we not selling dick. Y'all selling pussy on OnlyFans. Now listen. You can't, you can't, you can't make it the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. Go ahead, boss babe. I want, I want you to expound on that on that technology pussy you were talking about. Hey, Ryan, Hold right. on, go ahead. Because no, no, I want to hear. I, I want to hear. I could get fucked online. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Go I ahead. could get fucked online yes, a ma'am. thousand times that night. Okay. But if you fucking in real life, you could bring me back a STD. Yeah. I'm not gonna bring you shit, Hello. but a check, nigga. We about to live good, Hello. eat good. So you're trying to say... You don't fire that shit up? Hold on. So you're you trying to... Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me... I'm trying to understand the question. Let me understand the question. So you're telling me that... Uh, say that again so I can answer right. Go ahead. I said I could get fucked online a thousand times that night. You go out there and fuck in real life. You could bring me back an STD. The only thing I'm gonna bring in this motherfucking relationship is a bag. Man, wait, wait, wait. the motherfucking okay. fact the only way you could get so, a bag is with your pussy is pissing me off right now. Every time I talk about getting bags, your pussy, your ass, and your titties get taught involved. That's the reason why all these women out here doing all this extra whole shit. If you would set a better example and find another way to get money besides selling pussy, feet pics, and all this other shit, doing with sex, these women would be on a better fucking path. You wanna talk shit? by the niggas, but it's your goddamn reason why these young hoes don't want to settle down because they can sell pussy like boss goddamn baby. You need to chill. Stop telling me about selling fucking pussy every five minutes. Every time it's something to do with money, like these women can't open a business and three fucking ladies sell goddamn buttercream. Stop telling me about selling shit about your pussy. I'm tired of it. No, you got to sell pussy because you don't know anything else to sell around this motherfucker. You need to get a bomb of weed or something, bitch. God damn. God damn, man. Fuck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Trigger Alert. So, um, is it cool? Because I heard, you know, respect Pippa Ken. I do want to say I love your book. I still love it. Anyway, so it's cool when people like Pippa Ken be like, they want to sell a woman coochie, but it ain't cool when women sell the coochie for their own self. I'm just asking. Well, good point. Hold on, let Pippin. Hold on, Pippin. Hey, hey, everybody, I shut up, but Pippin. Go ahead, Pimp. Okay, first of all, 
The sister said it right. You got AIDS, all kinds of diseases out there. So I got to meet on my Peter. The longer the bitch stay, the longer she got to pay. If my dick gonna take a chance, I gotta get my money in advance. If you think my dick is handsome, I need a motherfucking ransom. You dig what I'm saying? If you want to, if, 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 if you want the dick to weigh in, you go out to pay in. You know what I'm talking about? That's how that's how I look at it. They ain't got nothing to do with no bitch selling no pussy. Cause a lot of my bitches never sold pussy. They sold pussyality. Hey. And yeah, real hoes get like I said, real hoes get get fucked and they prostitute, but pros get real money. You know what I'm saying? Any bitch that fuck with me, I guarantee you that bitch got a whole heap of motherfucking game. Most Game the bad kid got poker beats and most flavor the motherfucking now and later. So this ain't no itty bitty committee shit, right? This big shit pop pop. Stop around this motherfucker. You understand me? You understand me? <laughs> Boss babe, I just want to ask a question. You said if I'm on this internet, I'm getting fucked. Make me making a bag versus him going out slanging dick. How was you getting fucked? On the internet, was you was that a toy or was it a person? I'm just wondering, was it like a man involved or was it a toy? Really, I wouldn't know because I don't do OnlyFans. Oh, I'm speaking hypothetically. Oh, okay, okay. I was yeah, we're having a discussion. Man, hypothetically, your son friends is watching you fuck online and goddamn laughing at him in class because he just spent 19 fucking 99 and watch his homeboy mama get fucked on goddamn OnlyFans. Y'all got to chill with that shit. It ain't always about the money, bro. It's bigger than that shit. A lot of motherfucking shit going on chasing the check. That shit out of bounds, especially you got a young kid, not even young, but old enough kids to comprehend what the fuck you got. How the fuck you think a young nigga feel he 12, 13 years old, 14 years old, you could watch his mom, his mama get fucked on OnlyFans for Hair. sixty dollars a subscription or thirty dollars subscription. You, you know right. what I'm saying? It's not really about the money. We ain't knocking. That's why I say I don't knock you getting money, but it's other ways. A lot of women come I, on stage and make it sound like the only way they could really run up a big bag is if sex is involved, and it's really not like that. Honestly. That's the only way she can get the bag up like that. But but that's, like look at Jada Waiter and Ari Fletcher, like them some bad bitches in my eyes. I fuck with the movement so hard, and like I knew Ari was just was joking when she was like, oh, um, can I start on OnlyFans? I already, she ain't gotta do that half of that shit and she already a fucking millionaire. Like, you're absolutely right. I don't, you don't have to get naked. You chose to be a hoe. Right. You chose that, to let people see. Oh, I don't understand what you saying. If you got 2,000 subscribers and you get $5, that ain't enough money for me for you to show my pussy. I'm sorry. Well, well this, this is so the thing. What, we, what, we, what, what, I, what I won't do, <clears throat> I have no problem how anybody makes their money. Yes. If you want to sell dope, if you want to sell pussy, if you want to sell, if you want to scam, if you want to, whatever you do, just don't, the consequences and repercussions of your choice, don't shy away from it. If I know I'm selling dope, I need to have some money goddamn left over for a lawyer because I know I might get locked up. If I'm scamming, you know what I'm saying, I make sure I got the pistol because somebody might motherfucking pop me. If you selling pussy, you know, just make sure you got a good ass do doctor because you might have to go to the clinic. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. it's the same situation. But you can't, if I sold dope, I can't walk into a corporate building and get a corporate job. Why the fuck? Well, hold on, baby, because I'm a convicted felon, queen. I'm a convicted felon. And they're not gonna, it's not gonna happen. And, and see, that's the only difference between men and women. I know when I got out of that jail, motherfucking jail after 15 years, I wasn't gonna be able to work everywhere. But when you've been selling pussy or online or on in person for 15 years, you can't goddamn marry everybody. And it's only, a, it, it, it's, every man is not going to like that. And a lot of the times, the kind of men that women like, the protectors and the providers and the higher value guys know if I can if I can get a girl like Miss Miami that got less bodies and is not plastered online, I'm just gonna go with her. And so that's all I'm saying. Like, yo, if you make your decision cool, but just live, you made your bed, lay in it. If you wanna goddamn be hot, be hot. I salute you. Nigga, run it up. But just don't expect my ass after I've worked 30 years of my life to become a I ain't gonna put my business out there. My baby mama might be watching, but 30 years of my life to run it up to goddamn wife that shit up. We can have a good time. We can hang out. But goddamn take your ass down that aisle when a nigga done seen that cat goddamn for $5.99. I say bullshit. Just live with the results. That's cool. Right. If I if I make a decision to do some if I wanna if we wanna go rob banks, we know we might get knocked up. I believe with that. You can't sit there, and that's why niggas don't like snitching, because it's like, damn, nigga, you know what the fuck you signed up for. 
You, you sign up for street shit. All right, nigga, you might get jammed. Niggas, hold it down. Okay, baby, you sign up for whole shit. Hold it fucking down. Most of them do. Like, the thing is, there's a lot of um, bashing going on, and I'm going to salute all the prostitutes, all the hoes. Everybody we ain't bashing, though. I don't know about that. Everybody that's trying to get their I money, I don't, I, don't, I don't discriminate. I don't give a fuck. Some people don't have no guidance, and they don't know no better. So, yeah, it's bitches up here selling their ass and sucking and fucking and doing what they got to do, but they don't have no guidance. So I'm not going to bash what you do if you're trying to make something. It's better to me, it's because I come from the struggle. It's better than holding your motherfucking hand out. Now, if you want it's some bitches out here, prostitutes going to tell you, it's bitches out here laying around here fucking for free. They got bills at their motherfucking house. I salute you. If that's what you choose, that's not what I choose to do, but that's what you choose to do. You may ha not have no talent. You might have dropped out of school and they ain't never came from shit and feel like that's the only thing you got to offer. Do what you got to do, boo. But there is better opportunities and somebody need to tell them in a better way than telling them like, oh, you know, people going to, they know motherfuckers going to see them. Most of the girls that, sh that do that kind of shit, they don't give a fuck what nobody think. They not trying to get no wholesome ass nigga. They trying to get a nigga that's going to accept them while they in their motherfucking demise. <laughs> And, and you know what? They'll what find happened? him. They'll she find did. they'll find that man because if Pamela Anderson can find a husband, right? Then there's somebody out there for everybody. There is a man that will love your whole ass. Yes. I, and I, you know, I would just also like to throw this out here that don't don't get it twisted. Prostitution in some countries is very respected. In a country like Germany, it is respected. All you have to do, you have to make sure you go to the doctor and yes, get sir. your license, and you have to make sure you put it up in. Put it up in your window, and then you can sit there, you know what I'm saying, with your legs over all night long and do your thing. I'm just saying, in other countries, it is respectful. Well, ma'am, we we're not in Germany, but, respectfully, but, and we but, don't but, do that over here. You can't put your pussy up in no window and put but, your sign and none of that shit over here. We, we, we don't want that. Saying, respect the Germany. Thing. I love everybody. Excuse saying. me. Expect the respect the Germany. In but, other countries. man, look at here. I, 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 you cannot do nothing like that. I'm not disagreeing with none of y'all. I'm not disagreeing with none of y'all. All I'm saying is, listen. If you make the decision to live a certain lifestyle, whatever come with it, come with it. Don't be crying, talking about, oh, these niggas ain't shit, because that damn it, da, da, da. No, baby, you a hoe, and he don't want your ass. That's true. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why, all I'm saying. That's true, I why agree. Why can't I agree. take that same boundary when it comes sure. to our standards that we have for them? You are quick to shame us when it comes to hoe or perception, but when a woman say you don't make enough money, you don't take me tonight. Or you got community places. dick. When, when a woman say you ain't got no college de degree, okay. your ass don't went to jail one or two times. It's women out and I do want to say this too because really women give men more grace than you all give us so ladies open up your fucking eyes what? and have you some I fucking disagree. standards okay because really and honestly and truly I'm not judging do you have nobody. any facts to back that up I disagree Man, What's, the evidence, the proof is in the fucking pudding. You can look at the... You can do you have any evidence to back that up? Life. Man, look, it's evidence of the black community. The, the, the whole black community was built off What's of What's 13 times women. 9? That's your evidence. <laughs> you don't know what the, the fuck you talking about. More grace. More grace. The, let's talk about settling. Women always want to talk about their motherfucking standards. I, I make... I'm a millionaire. You're not. The fact that I would deal with your goddamn halfway broke ass is great. You got a high body count. The fact that I would deal with your broke ass, your goddamn hot ass is great. You're masculine. The fact that I would deal with your goddamn manly ass is great. We give women grace all the goddamn time. But there's only one person. See, men can get critiqued. Men can get critiqued. Men can get shamed. Men can get dragged in the mud. Nobody has a problem. Everybody laugh and joke like it's funny. As soon as a nigga hold a motherfucking bitch accountable, that motherfucker want to say we bash you. I ain't bash now, motherfucker. Won't ever bash. I love black women. I just want y'all to be better. I gave your ass grace when I took your ass out the motherfucking apartments into this house. fucking on and with another motherfucker and earlier you said some shit I wanted to say it but everything you named when it comes to this 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 you named the government you niggas like them y'all like to say why do women go to the government to get shit but y'all niggas don't y that's what you send us when, when men break up with I sent you to the government to get food stamps they don't even have and I don't have no kids so don't listen, I'm listening they, they don't have the mindset like this ain't work out let me still take care of my situation I'm moving on with another family nah a lot of men would be like oh he better off with me the children better 
better. No, you take care of your first family, and then you go continue to build. So I do want to say this only, and you're right. I'm not glorifying only friends. A lot of things in our community yeah, yeah, yeah. has been a certain kind of way, and I do want to say this. I'm not a, Ooh. I'm not a hoe. I'm a fucking pro. Okay. But when it do I know, come that's to this, right. and when it does come to this, I'm an influence on social media as well. And I do want to say this, black people and young people, we 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 too. We don't we don't we don't um keep things off limits for the kids. In our own messiness, a 12 or 13 year old would not know his mama on OnlyFans if somebody won't, grown ass won't go tell that jit that his mama on there sucking dick. We gotta keep adult shit as adult shit and we gotta let kids be fucking kids. And we, and they consuming already this Instagram, we have to watch what we do in front of them because that's how we build it. We're building this fucking generation because they shit off limits. They at the same concerts we at. They shopping at the same fashion over we shopping on. And y'all motherfucking letting them have the same Instagram. And then y'all want to talk about the whole shit in front of them. So thank yourself. And well, you're right. You're right. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. All right. I agree with you on that one. That, that's, that's the one thing I agree with you on this show tonight. I, I, I agree with you on one thing. That right there. I agree with you. You finally got you some sense. See, I done learned you something. All right. This is a, my favorite part of the episode. This is the part where we have somebody from our live studio audience come up and ask the panel a question. So if we have anybody that has a question or for the panel, uh, by all means, come on up here and uh, you can stretch your stuff. This is usually when E pop up. He got no. well, yeah, e. Any of the bros got a question for, for the ladies? Any of the ladies. Or, or us, or us. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, y'all can ask questions to you us. If y'all want to get in my chest, you can get in my chest. You can, you can ask questions chest. or you can ask the ladies, either or. Go ahead. Question, question, not a statement. Go ahead, E. I right, my question for the ladies. Why when y'all find that um a guy is not him, it take y'all so long to leave? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good question. Because they might have kids together. That, that don't matter. Mm -mm. It does matter. It a lot of it does. It don't it, do. it do. So it so do. okay, I got you, E. So you saying he asks, why does it take you so long to leave when you find out the guy's not him? You say because they have y'all have kids together. They may have kids. So you've gotten to the point where you fucked him raw, had a baby. Mm -hmm carried it for nine months and you still don't know this nigga ain't him? That's a long time. <laughs> exactly. You can answer, go ahead. I can answer that question. Go ahead, what take y'all so long to lead it? And, 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 I'm, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this for the ladies because like y'all fellas say, ladies don't wanna take accountability. So I'm, I'm gonna take this one for the ladies. So uh -oh. the problem is, is, is a, it, and I'm just piggybacking off of you and reiterating what you said, it's our standards. Ladies, we don't have standards. Like, like we should leave as soon as we know that he's not him, and we still be like, oh, maybe we could build him up. Maybe I'm he's him. got he's got I'm potential. Him. Him. Stop living on. No, no, the no. Potential. I'm not talking about when I say not him. I'm talking about a nigga not paying bills. Nigga not just that's doing potential. Nothing. I'm that hoping. No I'm hoping potential. one day you gonna pay if the bills. I'm no hoping bills, that's one day. Look, baby. Even if a nigga got a hundred dollars, he making a, a week. He gonna get that whole hundred to his girl. I some niggas gonna be like, y'all deal with niggas like, nah, I can't give you that hundred. Yes. Take it out. Standards. I would yeah, say, it's the standards. Okay, I would true. say, due to trauma bonding and comfort, and it may not be financial comfortability, but emotional, because women are emotional creatures. So sometimes when people are going through shit, because we are a reflection of each other. So for you to have a low vibrational ass nigga, you a low vibrational ass bitch. Ooh, and you gotta really look at that. So. Take when accountability. Are, yeah, when you attract that right. type of person, it's trauma bonding. We both going through the struggle, so we feel like we going through the struggle together, or we both got this issue or that issue, and we feel like we doing it together, and we really not repairing. That's why women stay. I like that answer. Appreciate you, E. We got one more question for the panel. Coming up, brother, come on up. Come on up. That was a good answer, True. That's the first thing I, I agree with you on. Man. See, they getting some sense. See, this, they, they, don't, they don't give me no credit for giving them some sense on this show, goddamn it. When they first type, she first came on in my I'm not submitting this shit. Now she's talking about trauma bonding and all kind of deep shit. Goddamn, I like that. Go ahead, brother. What's your name and what's your question? Yeah, so my name is Dillinger. And one of the things I, I, I listened to the whole night is um, a lot of men bashing and women bashing, but. Um, who actually believes in God and overstands the process of man and woman's role? Like, the, the conversation is not biased, but it, it just has to have a balance, right? So who's the leader 
And who's the crown in the relationships? I think the man is the leader. Absolutely. Right. And the woman is his partner. She's right with him. She's right. beside him. Right. So that, that right. also takes a level of commitment, accountability, and submission, right? right? So if you have a leader, no matter what financial position he's in, no matter what situation he's in, because men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie, but everybody has a story. Everybody has a process. Everybody has a testimony, right? Yeah. So if, if he's standing on God, he's standing on his faith, he's standing on his morals and his, his, uh, his vision, why won't you follow? Because even in the book of uh, where it speaks of Sodom and Gomorrah, where you were speaking of earlier, the angel came to Lot and told them to leave Sodom and Gomorrah, but the wife wanted to turn around and she turned to a pillar of salt. So when you follow what the man has in his spirit and understand that he's being led by God, and you do not want to follow, then you must perish. I agree. I Amen, agree. brother. I agree. You must perish. I just brought it to church. That's all I did. No, no. And thank you. Ab right, absolutely. No, because I need more of that. Because if you don't follow, that's exactly what will happen. Like, it could be a shootout, and he telling you to duck. And you're like, why, why, man, why? And you get shot. So pay attention to what he's saying, or you will, you know what I'm saying? You be Like he said, salty. So, so <laughs> and, and, and to expound on what you said, brother, um, there is a there is a scripture that I have uh, so popularly made popular as of recently. <laughs> Ephesians <laughs> Ephesians twenty two, husbands love your wives even as Christ also loved the church, and he gave himself for it that might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water. But it also says, wives submit to your husbands, to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. So that's just in the Bible. Submission is in the Bible. I, I know, I know, I don't want to get triggered. I'm just saying, I'm just piggybacking off what you said, brother. We appreciate your question, your comment. I'm not trying to trigger, goddamn, it's true. I do have something to say to his comment. Go ahead. And I, and I, I do appreciate your question. Um, as we have these, I, I, as we have these podcasts, I will say, when I consider conversations about cheating and all this other stuff, we're not talking about men of God. And that is another thing. Mm. Like, a lot of people, really, women are not as slow as people give us. When we say, like, we don't want to submit to, to, to people, we want a man who has integrity, who have morals. Women Thank nowadays, and I know a lot of men are, but people not only coming to God, but people wanting to be better than they were. So let's exactly. just even say you had a past that you don't want to go back to. One thing I will say in this society, a lot of people draw you to do bullshit, but when it comes to the real shit, they want to be like, let a nigga cheat. So where is God in a relationship and where's the balance? I just, want, I, just, I just want to say real quick that roles are very important. The masculine and the feminine is the reason why it's like that. Um, no, you can't submit to everybody, but there you have to submit. Like, as a woman, like, even if you are a successful woman and you, you got business, but you meet a man, let's say he may not be there financially as you, but he can have major potential, have his mind right, have his heart like the brother that was just standing here, you know what I'm saying? And you can see that in him. You fuck with him. But the thing is this, you got to still let him lead. You still got to let him be the man. You cannot emasculate him because you make more money than him. That's the problem. Even now, in Atlanta, we got so many successful black women, but you, they don't, you know, it's like now our society is, if you ain't got no money, you can't tell me shit. But it's bigger than that, you know what I'm saying? You can be a successful woman, more successful than your man, but you gotta still like let him lead, let him be the man, cause he needs that. Facts. That's just what it is. Oh, you're right. Go ahead, pimp. Let me give y'all the key to how to make a woman submit to you. First of all, it's a real game for all my guys. If you want your woman to submit to you, you have to reinvent yourself. People become comfortable and complacent. You cannot let your woman see you as the same man you was five years ago. If you're doing the same thing at 40 that you did at 20, you didn't lost 20 years. Women are very intelligent. They elevate real quick. You know, my woman been down with me for years. She submit to everything I say because I'm always opening up new businesses. I'm always waiting to reinvent myself. Y'all knew me back in the day. I was on 50 Cent album. I was doing all the entertainment shit. That was exciting to her. Now I have the hip hop fraternity and I own all these businesses and I'm, like, I'm signing all these artists. I'm like a boss to her. She can look up to me. I give her something to look up to. Mm -hmm. Women need something to look up to. And you always should 
date a woman at least seven years younger than you. Hey. <laughs> women your age is too advanced for you. I mean, <laughs> women that's younger than you, she looks up because she looks for a father figure in you. She looking for you to give. See, most, most relationships where, where the family, where the father and the mother was in the house, you, you, she looking at you, she's seeing her father. Most of you who grew up with mothers, and y'all look at your mother, you see a woman, you look at your mother. These are the examples that we see as young kids. So one thing I can tell you, the reason why my broad is down, and she's been down with me for years, is she make millions. She, I don't got no punk ass bitch. Anybody see my bitch, they know my bitch is cold. She pretty as a fuck. Diamonds, Rolexes, all that shit, Benzes. Because I level up and she level up. But you can't be no broke ass nigga. You can't be no do nothing ass nigga. You got to always reinvent yourself. Even at 60, I still challenge myself for my bitch, for my woman, whatever y'all want to call her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, but hey, she don't got no problem with that. She know who I am. Yeah. My name Pippa Ken. She knows who she fucking with. But I'm saying, you know, just out of respect for her, and we do have an older son together. So I mean, it's like I'm just telling y'all straight up, Invent, reinvent yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, get that new whip. Uh, invest in that real estate. You know, find something that you know that takes you to the next level. Otherwise, you're gonna. She, now I got a partner named Liquid Cash. He said, when, if you ride with your woman and another nigga ride in the Bentley and she get the rubber neck, you know the rubber neck, she get to looking at that nigga, you know what I'm saying? And she get to fetishize that nigga, that means that you ain't handling your business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, your woman should never handling look at business. another nigga. Peace. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for Pippi Kid one time. This has been Trigger Alert! An amazing show tonight. We're gonna go around the room one more time. Please let these folks know where to follow you at, where they got look look what they can look forward to with your campaign. Ladies, go ahead. Go ahead, Glow. Uh, again, Glow Show. Um, I'm at Glow Show. G L O S H O W. And uh, just stay tuned to the page. I got a lot of stuff coming, so you'll see it. Shout out, Glow Show. Go ahead, Miss Miami. What's up? I miss Miami. So follow me on everything, especially Instagram. I'm most active at Miss Miami TV. Um, follow my YouTube. I do have my documentary coming out soon. Mm -hmm. I did write a book a while back. I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday Friday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Big sad energy. But my book is on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I talk a lot about confidence. I help people be confident. I talk about cosmetic surgery and all that. So y'all make sure y'all hit me up. We, we on that. You had a good time, Miss Miami. It wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be, huh? I said you had a good time. I had an awesome time. It wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. No, but I like your energy. I just, look, I just look mean on Instagram. I'm not mean for real. Yeah, <laughs> Don't look at me like that now, baby. <laughs> I was ready to be <laughs> Hey, baby, watch yourself. <laughs> Go ahead, Biz. Go ahead. Tell them about the gun line, boss. Yeah, uh, follow me. Uh, B-I-Z-Z, just chill. No underscores, no spaces on all platforms. Um, salute to everybody that's been tapping in. We appreciate y'all. Trigger Alert Tour will be coming uh, end of January next year. So always tap in, let us know what cities you from. We will be on the road with it in a little bit. Appreciate y'all. Go ahead, ma'am. All right, it's your girl, Lorna J. You can follow me on Instagram at brownsugar.jaeee. -E -E. And then my sugar is S-U-G-A-A, -A, so you spell it like that with the period. That's your sugar. That's our sugar, y'all. I mean, my grandma called me brown sugar. I just put a little twist to it for my IG. Brown sugar, baby. What's up? What's up, twin? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I am the butt naked truth, the motherfucking butt naked truth. You guys can follow me on Instagram at the butt naked truth. That's dub with a D A, not T H E. You know, a little ratchet on the end. The Butt Naked Truth. Um, shout out to Multi Music Moguls. Um, my evil twin dropping his um, record. Y'all go stream that. Don't walk away. She's just a banger. Okay, make sure y'all come out on Saturday. Um, we are at KOD. We're going to have YCD Fat, um, Montana White. It's about to be a motherfucking ball. Y'all hit me up when y'all get to the motherfucking door so I know you in the building. That nigga ain't going to answer. That's the promoter shit. Yeah, hit me when you get to the door, bro. Bro, I'm out here. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm still out here. Bro, the club closed. I'm still out here. <laughs> Nigga, pay. <laughs> Go ahead, Queen. 
<laughs> okay. Well, uh, I appreciate y'all having me tonight. I can't wait to see y'all again. Y'all follow me at The Amber White Show on all platforms. And I have so much popping in 2024. I'm super excited. So y'all just stay tuned. I appreciate you. That's sweet. You have seen my evolution as well. And I'm proud of yeah, you. I, I've, I've seen you from the mud, sir. Okay? For, I mean, really from the mud. So You kind of understand why I think the way I think because you've seen where I came from and where I got to and where I'm exactly. going. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, and that's why I know that you, I know that's why you talk the way you talk, sir. Hey, I can pop my so shit. Pop shit. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't with me shooting in the gym. I went and bought the gym. <laughs> what you mean? Appreciate you. Go ahead, Bounce Bay. Yes. You can follow me at Boss Bay, that's B dot O S S dot underscore Bay, B A E. But since they're trying to play me, I want to give out my business page. Get it, baby. And that Get is. Get it, baby. Yes, I'm a masseuse, so it's Love L U V, the number two. R U B. You need love a massage bro. so you can get some of that tension up out of you. Ooh, ooh, she said you need some massage. I'm gonna book, I'm trying to book. I'm gonna follow your page and I'm the gonna book. Exactly. I'm looking for the Christmas in the morning. I'm, I'm, I might need a massage too, shit. Don't leave me. I, I, that bitch, you always get to have the fun, bro. Say what? You say? always get to have the fun. Oh, no, nah, just chill. <laughs> chill, bro. Chill. chill. All right, relax. legendary, legendary <laughs> Pimpy King. Go ahead and let them know where to follow you at, brother. Hey, they can follow me at Real Pimp King underscore. And, uh, you know, just for my daughters, <laughs> you know, I, hey, I ain't pimping no more. So, y'all, <laughs> you know, I got daughters. So, you know what I'm saying? I, but I, I, Ugly Money pay me. To do that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. Facts a lot. Well, he said, kid, be yourself. So it's all entertainment. <laughs> but, you know, also, y'all could go get my book, The 48 Laws of Game Pimpology. It's a bestseller. You can go get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. You can go get it at audiobook.com. I'm a book writer. I'm also a literary agent. And I want y'all to come out on Tuesday, every Tuesday, Ugly Money, uh, Making It Big. And HHF has a showcase. If you got a flyer and you got uh, uh, that what you need, you can you know you can perform and you can also get in. And also, I want you to come to 5456 Fairville Road uh, every Monday. We have the HHF Network and Monday Network. It is free to perform, free to get in, and free to park. And I also give a lesson. So if you want to get some good game, learn about uh, ASCAP, BMI, uh, blockchains, cryptology, uh, CSAC, uh, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying, TuneCore, come to HHF every Monday. And uh, y'all make sure y'all get them numbers up so I can stay on Chig Alert. <laughs> we did. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, baby. Uh, you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. Of course, the Trig Alert Tour slash Break Gang Talent Search Tour will be kicking off. January 2024, big things going. Of course, the Ugly Money Music Summit will be April 5th through the 7th and my birthday weekend. So make sure you stay tuned with that. Of course, the vault kicks off this week. Gonna be on Dame Dash's new network, America New. We're extremely excited about that. America New. And Trigger Alert is on the move. We will be announcing some big, big things coming in 2024. Just stay tuned, just stay locked in. And I appreciate everybody that tunes in every Every Wednesday night, we appreciate y'all, man. Ready to get out of here? Yeah, let's do it. To the Wawa. To the Wawa. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Ugly Money Podcast. Trigger alert, my live studio audience. Make some noise. Yeah. It's that ugly money. The Say they big. She gonna be independent and goddamn pop it on Little. Out here, y'all get these BBLs, and y'all do all this, and y'all don't even have a car. You just shoot hey, hey, Lee, oh, you hey, always jumping up, right? Big, but we much bigger. The same day lit, but we much litter. Yeah, but you trigger, you trigger, trigger, trigger. Got five people on her only fan talking about you. Go with goddamn 95. That, that, that ugly money. Yeah! The big